What's up, everybody? Wait, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I should stumble over my own intro. You know what? Keep that shit. What's up, everybody? Dope as Yola here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Welcome back to another episode of the Dope as Usual podcast. Today, we have filmmaker Matt Alonzo. And uh, thank you so fucking much for coming. I know it's a little rough. You got a damn flat tire on the way in, but yeah, you it's know. okay. Got to do what you got to do, though. We got here. Thanks for making it. No, thank you Most for having me. Most people would have been like, I'm fucking done. I'll see you tomorrow. Absolutely not. <laughs> I hate that shit. Absolutely. So thank not. you for thank you for still coming, even though they weren't trying to let you to come. Yeah, they weren't trying to let me. The nail, the nail, you know, it, it was in there, and I said, you know what? Fuck I'm, it. I'm riding out. Fuck this rim. <laughs> Def- <laughs> Yo, uh, I broke. You ever broke like a tie rod or an axle in your car? Never. I did one time, and uh, it was bouncing like hydraulics down the street. Oh, bro, it was so scary. Fine. It was, I guess so. I mean, I guess it was a Dodge Intrepid, and it didn't look natural, but I, I did. I see you hopping. I was smoke coming out the car, about to get pulled over. I was, it was all bad. I was delivering pizza at the time. Hey, but it. you didn't get pulled over, and I made it. So exactly. So thank you so much for showing up. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm very interested, man. This is what we. This is what I do. Like. Marty and I both, as soon as you say these, I'll check this out. I'll go, oh shit, interesting. Fuck yeah, I can't wait to hear it. So for everyone out there that doesn't know what you do, you're a filmmaker. Yep. Primarily do music videos or or actual features. Uh, I haven't done a feature yet, but I've I studied narrative, and that was you know that's the goal. Um, yep. Music videos just kind of stumbled uh, stumbled upon my uh, my path, and I decided just to uh, attack it full force. And for whatever reason, that seems to be what everybody. Um, really likes as far as social media wise. I mean, I, I did a show with Mark Cuban, two likes, you know, he put a music video <laughs> and it's it goes, always that way. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, I've done pretty much all genres of, of content. Uh, and then I was signed to ICM as a feature film director for about four years. Wow. Um, they rep me as a feature film director. So, uh, you know, I've had my, how'd you get, how'd you get into, I mean, you said that was the end goal. So, mm-hmm. Music videos weren't your like, you know what, I'm going to be a music video director first. It was no. feature films you were thinking first. Yeah, I mean, I went to film school. Um, that was one of my questions. Yeah, yeah, I went to film school. I, I was I was editing and, and filming when I was like six, seven years old. Years old? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Okay, my parents had me really young, like kind of like your story. So my, my mom and my dad were like 17. They didn't even know each other. They just, hey, what's up? Hooked up one night and then... Hey, I'm pregnant. Oh, damn. And my, and both my parents came from broken homes. So my parents, my dad was like, hey, I don't know you, but I'm going to learn to love you. And we're going to have this baby. Are they still together? Uh, no, but in 35 years, 30 years. So. That's commitment. Yeah, I know. Right. So, wow. So I had a whole different outlook on life. Just like, just having that sort of, you know, Upbringing. foundation. Yeah. You know, and uh, they were, they were both kids. So my dad just wanted to, to document all of our experiences. All, the good and the bad. So uh, he had a camera in my face and I hated it. I hated it. And eventually he started showing me on TV like, hey, look, Matt, you're dancing. And I'm like, okay. He would plug it into the TV. And so I saw that. And I think I saw how the TV or the camera created or gave emotions. Like it made people happy. And so I wanted, I wanted that, you know? And then I learned I can make people cry. You can make people feel a certain way, really young. And so that was just what I did. I did that and played football. You sound like me. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was listening to your story. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah. And then I don't speak Spanish. I've been to Mexico. They don't like, I mean, they, they make go like this, me. stiff arm your ass. <laughs> <laughs> the second you walk in. Yeah, exactly. So I don't, I don't know how much like, I don't know what the shade is that I can go. Like, you know what I mean? Yep. I think I'm pretty, pretty much the, the max. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's as far as you could go. And they're like, uh, and they speak to me. I'm like, I, I don't, you know. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm from Santa said, Barbara. I'm, I'm like, I'm from Santa Barbara. I, I surf. I don't even I eat surf. onions. <laughs> they just threw my passport. I don't eat onions. <laughs> Do you have any kids? No. I no. got no kids. I know. They're like, you are a motherfucker. You're 16. You don't have a family. Like, I know. Fuck you. I'm in school. That's why I was listening to your story. I was like, okay. Yeah, we got, got a few things in common. Oh, shit. That way more than I thought. Oh, damn. <laughs> so you started, your dad had the f- camera in your face and you just got accustomed to liking this shit. 
Yeah. I mean, I just saw the way that it would make them smile. Mm -hmm. And so I realized, oh, I can, you know, make my parents happy with this thing and then make my friends happy and make other people happy or sad. And then I just realized like, oh, I can pretty much manipulate people's feelings with this box. And uh, I would plug two VCRs in and, and just do it like that. What the fuck? As a child? Yeah. That is badass. Yeah. Remember the old, uh, rewind tapes i never had one of those no I you had to sit there and watch the whole movie in reverse <laughs> now nah, we would stop and then it would rewind but we i never had like you could take it out and then put it into a separate thing yeah i remember it was like a fucking fake car we yep. had yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah i never had one of those oh they were tight i wish they did nothing but they were tight yeah so I wish. that's how you started you've been doing it ever since yeah yeah i mean i was playing football and then obviously five one on a good day like i wasn't going anywhere <laughs> so i graduated and i didn't really have anything else to do and, and and i i couldn't afford to go to film school my parents were like sorry you're out of luck yeah so i went to city college and I worked at the gap nice and i uh, worked for the city of santa barbara that's where i'm from carpinteria santa barbara so i was cleaning parking lots in the morning going to school and then going to the gap driving back to ventura which is like an hour away every single day fuck it well my buddy <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. I mean, I, I didn't make it work. Yeah, not really. I mean, I was pretty much ditching class eventually. No, I'm saying you got to make it work for your like what you what you want to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do at that. Oh, point. at that. Oh, so filming was in your life, but it wasn't your primary focus yet. No, no, no. I mean, I was oh, out. I was so out like me. Well, I was out just looking at women. Just gotcha. I was in the mix. You gotcha. know what I mean? I was popping at that moment. I was like, oh no. You know what I mean? I was I know. just yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I still I was the film. I was like the video guy at my high school. Like, oh, I was always with the camera. But when I graduated, it was kind of like maybe I I'll, have a camera. Yeah, maybe I'll do some weddings and and you know I did my first music video. It was and let's not even talk about that one. But uh, but yeah. So my one of my buddies who was a, a young friend of mine. Uh, I got him into film because I got all my friends into film. I'm talking like I played football, so I had all the cool kids. Yeah. And so I'd get these like gangster dudes, these like, you know, really, you know, big dudes to to do whatever in my scripts. Like I would just have them. Oh, you were writing shit out already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, so it was this, trash, but we But were, you took it serious. <sighs> as much as a hobby can be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We had like, we'd, we just did a bunch of like, like smoking, uh, you know, like, we would smoke and then we would fall asleep on the couch, disappear, and then we, we you know, we'd pop up in the forest and Damn, we'd be like bro, karate that sounds people. Sounds like me when I first started. Yeah, that's what I that's did. That's what I was. That's exactly what I was doing. Yeah, that's hilarious. Love it. I, hilarious. I still have all my tapes too. I have everything. Oh man, that's so fucking everything. cool, bro. Yeah, and that's that's the one part like I really like. I really I'm really thankful that I did. I saw my dad being very organized with all his tapes because I have all his tapes. So he's filming like every birthday party, everything. Oh man, he filmed when I when I got this scar. And he felt bad, and he actually went home and deleted that. <laughs> he filmed I, like that because well, because we were wrestling, and I just happened to do, uh, and he was laughing, and it was just blood. And then I was a little guy, and so then he came back when I was getting stitched up. He, he so deleted bad. it. <laughs> he didn't tell me until years later. <laughs> That's tight. You should have kept that. That's shit. what I told him. He's like, like, "Nah, man, I felt so guilty. I had to go home. I just I had a pit in my stomach. I was like, damn. damn. How I mean, old were you? Little. I was like five or six. Oh yeah, I would have erased that shit. Too. I was like, "Hey, Dad," and I just I tried to like juke him, and I just went boom right into the door. But um, I saw him; he was really organized with all his tapes, and so obviously I mimicked him, and so I was organized with all my tapes, and I have everything. I mean, every film school project, wow. high school, middle school, and elementary, everything. Love it. It's awesome. That's very fucking cool. Yeah, it's man. awesome. So, but that my friend ended up going to the film school that I wanted to go to. He, he was, you know, he was a little bit wealthier than I was, and uh, he, and you got him into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, but he was lazy and uh, he was just, we were all just stoners at that point. <laughs> but uh, I started doing all his projects. So he took my dad aside and he was like, yo, your son's getting A's you, you, on my projects. You need to figure out a way to get him to this fucking close school because yeah. what is he going to do? What, you know, what are we going to do? It's, it's, I come from a small town. So it's like, what are we, he's just going to work at the Gap forever. So, yeah. They, they, they. So, so you went to school right after high school. You went to film school. No, that, I took a year. I took a year to do to work at the Gap and go. Yeah. Oh, this is in between. Yeah, so I was done at the Gap, and I'm at Santa Barbara City College, which, if anybody knows that campus, it is beautiful. It's right on the beach. So, Damn. yeah, no, I mean, no, literally on the beach. You're never in class. So, yeah, I wouldn't be. Yeah, so it was like that was it. That was, I mean, that was. Did you finish my life. school? I mean, I, f- I finished film school. Oh, so uh, not the Santa's Barbara. Oh, hell. I didn't even finish like two, like two <sighs> weeks of class, man. You are me. Yeah, bro. I just talked. I went to JC for five years. Where? <laughs> I never graduated. <laughs> I was just talking about it. I just sold drugs. So I was like, oh, I got to leave class. Someone needs a sec. 
You're out. I'm out. That was my excuse. Like, I need to pay my rent. I'm out. So then why'd you, why'd you keep going back? Because I'd get dropped because I missed so many classes and I go, no, oh, I'm yeah. finishing. I'm going back next semester. Same shit. Three months in, two months in, three months in. What were you studying? Five, or what were you? Business degree, I guess. <laughs> I was just trying to knock out all my GA, like the general. Yeah, yeah. I got one class left and I'll be done, but I'm fucking over that shit. Oh no, take that. I know. Everybody tells me the same thing. I Give feel, us an update. I, know, I was thinking about just paying somebody, but yo, just take an online class for me. Say your name. Thanks. Hey, anybody out there? I mean, that wouldn't even be bad, man. I know I'll just defraud the government, get my fucking GA or AA or whatever. I'm with it. General admission or something. General, General admission. They had something like that. No, like, it's no, associates. It's AA, associates degree. But the G, it was general, like the general classes. General you gotta, general yeah, you got to take these certain bullshit classes to even get your AA. And I remember. Wait, I what did you just, say? General admission? I can't remember. <laughs> no, that's for like fucking getting this. Like, that's from like Six Flags. Yeah, or something. that's no, no, but it's the general ed, education, right? No, yeah. there's like a like six core classes you got to take in college. Yeah, gen, gen eds. That's probably what it I'm, is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know. That <laughs> was like know 20 years again? ago. You know, <laughs> I didn't pay attention enough to know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that right when I was about to graduate. They're like, "What school do you want to go to?" I got to go more. I mean, you I'm were that. You were that guy. It. You were the. You were the main one. Selling wheat. Yeah. Um. You were up there. I had. The guy I got it from, and there was like two other dudes and probably some cartel people in town that did it bigger. But as far as the school, oh, in school, um, college, I sold to weed to nobody. Fuck that, because I don't know them. Uh, High school, I tore it the fuck up. After college, when I was out, that's why I would leave so much because yeah. I was selling so much weed. Hey. Fuck it, man! You would have <laughs> killed it at film school. Like our school was like all these kids who were art artists, oh. and they just. I'm just, I'm, I keep to myself so much if I don't know people. So that's why I never got more. Mm-hmm. I have a friend named Michael. Mm-hmm. He went to the uh, to the UC, got a four-year degree, didn't care what he got because he was just selling weed to everybody. <laughs> but brick weed, trash weed, uh, and taxing the out-of-towner kids. Hey, they don't care. About two houses during school. And uh, <laughs> two houses, one in Vegas, one in Merced. Wow. Off of, off Shout of out this. to him. Baller. The day he graduated, we were all drinking. And go, Congratulations, man. And I'm like, why do you look sad? And he goes... Oh my customers are gone, <laughs> and then we went back and got another uh, another uh, degree in Spanish. Fuck, he already spoke Spanish. So I'm just gonna do in Spanish and tax people. So he went to school for eight years just to Damn. sell weed. That's good fucking though. Bomb, I mean, hey, dude. I was gonna say make make that money. You dude, know what I mean? he's one of the smartest people I know. Only 21 year old with a fucking own house and no, and no Spanish and no Spanish. Fools on it, man. I, on it, better than us. I had people to teach me. I just didn't give a fuck after a while, man. And then I went to Mexico, and then I went. Oh, I should have just paid attention. Got your dreams shattered, dude. Going it's to crazy, going right? to Mexico is crazy. You don't speak Spanish. Now, you're brown. When, when, exactly. When you're when, when you're, you're brown, brown, it's just like I almost feel like they don't spit my stuff. <laughs> I mean, oh, they definitely do. They definitely do. They threw my passport. Like they threw my passport just back to you. Wait, no, they didn't throw it back to me. They just what do go you get mean? it. <laughs> Where? When I went there, I was no. I, I mean, like, been, where were you? Like at a hotel? Man, I don't even remember. I must have been eight. No, 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 I must have been eighteen or nineteen. I don't remember exactly where we were. I remember my friend's family. They all spoke Spanish. Everyone spoke Spanish, and, and he was talking, and he just, I don't know what he was saying. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't know. And then I sound like even more white. You yeah, know? Like, same here. Douche, go get it. I mean, he didn't like, but he didn't hand it to me. Oh hell no! I had to fight Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. didn't know. Yeah, it's, it's all bad. Because then you don't grandma. even know if they're calling a truce. What if they're calling a truce and you can't even understand? And I that's why I say all the time. Like I know you're gonna jump me. I know something's wrong. It's all the Spanish I know. Man, that's it. Other what than that, mean? I don't know. No, I, don't I know took shit. two years of Spanish too. And you know how I passed? I made Spanish videos. <laughs> you just do it. The cameras passed. Yeah, and my mom would help me. And she'd be like, "Hola," and I'd be like, "Hola," and we would just oh. and that was it. Like your parents both speak Spanish? No, my, just my mom. That's why I didn't learn because my mom would be teaching me when I was younger and my dad would be like, what are you saying to him? Teach me, teach me too. And she's like, I ain't trying to repeat myself. Is your dad and Mexican too? He's he's dark like me, but he's his his lineage is from like Arizona and Spain. So it's not really Spanish, but my uh. mom's my mom's second generation or first generation. So from Jalisco. So she was like fluent, but my dad would be like, what are you saying? What are you, what are you telling him? <laughs> and my mom was like, nah, I'm over this. My dad uh, remarried. And she's from Mexico. Uh-huh. So when they had more kids, I have a little brothers and sisters now. When they pissed me off when I was younger, I'm like, yo, you better knock it off, fool. I'm over 18. Like, I can't do shit to you. And then they'd run and tell their mom shit in Spanish and be <laughs> lying their asses off about what oh, I yeah. did. And I go, what are you saying? What are you saying, little kid? Fuck you. And it's like, 
I'm trapped. You believe I'm a fucking abuser now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You're going to believe your kid. And oh, my step the worst thing. It's the worst. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> I, I had a, I had a, my best friend, his, his family spoke Spanish and the grandma, she was really old, but she'd call me burro. I don't know exactly. I haven't looked it up, but I don't, I don't believe it means. Donkey? I don't believe, I don't believe it means uh, handsome, but she would just Donkey? like, and she would just laugh just constantly at me. And I was just like, uh, okay. Oh my God. That's fucked up. <laughs> She's kind of cool though. That's a kind of a cool old grandma. It is what it is. Yeah. Trying to talk shit to some uh, yeah, kid. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, she's throwing, you know, she's throwing jabs. Jabs. It's cool. Yeah, like, I'm cool. Fuck it, dude. I mean, I don't give a fuck. If I have to move to Mexico, I'll learn right. I'll learn today. Do you like Mexican food though? Like, yeah, it's cool. Like, you like onions and stuff. Yeah, I eat all. I eat all vegetables oh, okay. basically, all but right. I can't eat hot shit. My dad used to try to pay me to eat yeah, salsa. I can't eat, I can't eat hot either. But now that I'm older, I'll eat whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I can't eat hot either. Nah, hell no. But yeah, Mexico. If you, for everyone at home, if you're brown, don't go to Mexico. If you don't speak Spanish. Hey, I still have my shunned. My, I still have my Spanish videos from Spanish Damn. class. Hilarious, bro. That's cool, man. It's hilarious. It's that's, so bad. That's like one of those things when you're like 50 and you make a compilation of your life. Who oh, can yeah. say that? Me. Very rare. Yeah, I mean, no, very, extremely rare. You know, really rare. That my dad started it and I kind of just carried Kept it on. It going. So, yeah. Wow. Did you have your birth? No. Really? No, nah, he wasn't because we didn't have money like that, you know. Oh. They, they were seventeen, living in a hotel. That's right. That's cleaning right. So cars. They were mad, mad young. Mad young. Whew. Yeah, my mom and dad are like eighteen. They didn't 16. even know each other. Did they know? Did they know each other though? Yeah, they were dating. My sister's a year and a half older than oh, me, okay. so they had oh, yeah. her in fifteen and seventeen, <sighs> and then had me the next year. Like it's a good fucking move. Like yo, you know how we're doing so well living with our parents. Check. Let's make another one. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Press go on that. For real, like I'm a sophomore. Time to have another kid. Run that back. Fuck that shit. Oh my God, dude. Hey, yeah. It was a different time. You know what it's I mean? <laughs> We're said stuck in that. Everybody has. I was just talking about it. We have the highest uh, underage uh, teen pregnancy in the country for like five years straight. Really? It's crazy. And where is that at? I mean, I know you said the middle of- Merced like, is right by Fresno. You know where Fresno is? I'm from is? Stockton. Well, I was born in Stockton. For real? Yeah, my parents, because my dad, both of my parents were like juvie, ju juvenile kids. Like they were in juvenile hall and stuff. So they just had to go up. They had to leave Santa Barbara for a little bit. And uh, they had me there. And then they- Really? They Stockton moving. is an hour and 10 from Merced. Oh, okay. So then, you know- It's right off the 99. Look at that. Yeah, it's between Modesto and Fresno is Merced. We might be brothers. We had to check. You know, we're fucking too. related somehow. <laughs> We fucking, we chilled at the same hotel when you were born. <laughs> you know, that's crazy. You were yeah. in Stockton. Stockton's I mean, I didn't, wild as fuck. I, I've never though. been there. Like, I mean, I've been nah, there, but no I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't. We it's moved out of there when I was like six months, so. Oh, shit. So you've been in Santa Barbara the whole time? Carpinteria, but Santa Barbara, yeah. Car what'd you call it? Carpinteria, which is like uh, heard that. a little bit uh, south of, of Santa Barbara. It has like two stoplights. I had like maybe 50 <laughs> kids in my graduating class, so. Oh, yeah. You're like, there's a lot of places in Merced. I mean, in a. In California, yeah, like, yo, like, how does it not fucking have people? Yeah. You're 20 minutes from a major city and you guys live by yourself. Even when I heard, yeah, I heard your, I heard the name and I'm like, do I know that? It doesn't ring a bell. I mean, it's it one of those bell, towns. It doesn't ring a bell. You yeah, know? it's, it's kind of, it's like a farm agricultural meth town. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really crazy, right? Like, and there's the nothing to do. And murder, like, because the, because the parents are, out, the parents are out at the, you know. At the fields. Yeah. And so the kids have run reckless fucking create gangs yeah I, that's, I mean that's that's what my dad was telling me that's all it is lack of parental control lack of getting punched in your fucking face will make you start a gang well that's i mean that's then we have gangs everywhere which is what, what we do we just have soft gangs <laughs> yeah. the other ones you know what i mean yeah. no dude that's you grew up in a town like i did then that's crazy how was growing up there uh santa, like, santa barbara Carpinteria? well yeah like if you're beautiful if you're okay but if you're out there filming and that's your thing you play football where you run in the fuck running around oh, doing crazy shit dude crazy i mean i was wild i was homecoming king and i was like oh no homecoming <laughs> king to like ditching like i don't like i almost didn't graduate because i i had same missed so much school yeah i had to go to my football coach and be like please sign my because he was a history teacher i'm like please sign this that i was in this class that oh, i wasn't could you do it yeah what a badass i still have nightmares about that sometimes wake up we're just you know we're very much alike i have fucking straight nightmares that i walk into school and i'm three months late and i go wait I got all Fs. I don't even have time to fucking save this. Right? And that was it. It's like I'm back in 10th grade. Oh, man. It's crazy. It's the you know? fucking worst, bro. I was just It is, but it was the best, though. Like a lot of, you know, and, and I got a lot of my crazy shit out by the time I was 19, 20. By the time I was 21, I was like. You were on this end of school, and I was on this end. Because I, I knew all the football. I used to play football, too, but I quit. My coach is a fucking piece of shit. And 
all the cool kids and all those fools like i know them and i was like yeah i'm gonna just go do drugs i'll see you but guys see, later we, we were the same like we were all yeah we said i separated it was very separate and our in our in our town we were the, the cool you're so small like yo i'm a athlete a drug addict <laughs> yeah pretty much absolutely everybody you know? has to play the role <laughs> yeah everyone i mean that's what it was i mean it was kind of like a varsity blues type like that's what small towns are like, man. Yeah, yeah. And we it's, won CIF, so we were just like free for all. Oh, so you're this, oh, you're these I mean, guys. Free, free for all. Free for all, for you're sure. You were wearing high socks and flip flops and no. slides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely was wearing slides. I mean, I'm surprised they're coming back. I'm like, damn, I have a bunch of those. Yeah, dude. I know. I, you described me, you, yourself perfectly. And you were homecoming mm-hmm. king. Oh, come on, man. You were that guy. I mean, I was just, I was wild. I was just a class clown, just off. Just, I mean, I was always wild as a kid, just. Doing stupid shit. Oh, I mean, the stupidest you could possibly imagine. Besides, like, violent stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Just like, were you getting into trouble? Uh, luckily, luckily, no, because people let us go. Because you were the football kids. Yeah. What position did you play? Uh, running back, linebacker. Oh fuck! You are the homecoming king. Yeah, but not like that. Like I was more. I, mean, I was good, but I was more. I was more of just the class clown, just the, the rah rah guy. I was the guy starting shit. Oh, you looking at him? Hey, hey, like you know. No, just, I ain't gonna fight. Fight him. Yeah, I would just. I mean, I was just. I mean, I begin. I begin shit going. Like I don't know. It was, it was instigate nest is what I hear through, right here through the roof. You like know? I have instigator on the back of my neck. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was leading leading the rallies, and I was just. I mean, I was just loud. I was just. Yeah, dude, that's cool. I always saw those those kids in school, and I go. It's just not me. I just I, I talk a lot when yeah. I know you. Other than that, like uh, I don't want to talk. <laughs> I just stand with myself. Like at parties, I'm in the back smoking weed. Everybody's chilling. Hey, that I mean, was me. Yeah, in the back, we were in the back, but we were doing something else. And it was just like we were so young that at that time that we just like we just didn't. The town has nothing there. It has two stoplights, so it's like. What do you do? What Drugs do you do? have kids. Yeah, and we weren't. You know. Yeah, we weren't doing that. The other. The ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, but it's just it's I mean, just yeah, California I mean, small town. Yeah, it is what it is, and it was a beautiful town. It was right on the beach. It's it's you know this is you know um, two miles away from where Oprah lives. You know, oh, so oh, I'm like that. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, beautiful. I've never been beautiful. I mean, if you're ever going that way, Santa Barbara, there's a little town you'll see or a gas station you'll see. Just pull off. <laughs> That's where I grew up. Yeah, yeah. Behind that gas yeah, station, absolutely. You'll see the beach right there. I mean, it's absolutely. I mean, it's it's. It's a great place to, to grow up. Great. At least you had some cool shit as a kid. Absolutely. That's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So growing up is dope. You basically got your start because your dad. My parents, both of my parents. Oh, like, that's you know, very cool. Yeah. They were like, yo, uh, stop fucking up and, uh, you know, own up and we're going to refinance the house and send you to school. Yeah. That's how you got to, to film school? Yeah. Grow the fuck up. You know? Nice. <laughs> so they sent you to film school yeah. and from there. Did you already know, or did was Dude, film school? Did it did it help you? One hundred percent. Nice, bro. I was the guy. I was like, oh, pff, I got, I got it. it. I didn't even know cameras had lenses. Oh, you know shit. what I'm saying? You're over here with the fucking <laughs> because back in those days, they Goonies did, camcorder. We, well, I mean, the DBX had just came out, so it, and that was the first twenty four frames camera. It was, so before that, it was just like a little Sony, you know. Before that, it was a you know, big one on the show. A mini, yeah. Well, I have, I still have mine. Damn. Yeah. That's cool. The so tape I, pops out. Dude, yeah, absolutely. I didn't even know. I was like a lens and all this stuff. They made us take stills for the first like eight months, nine months. And then I, I realized like light meter and just how to tell stories in like five picture. I did not realize like, yo, I don't know. Oh, shit. like narrative and like dialogue and stuff. Is that what they well, sh- teach was, you there? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was a it was three year VA <sighs> program and it was like, it was amazing. It was amazing, you know? So, um, the first year, I mean, it's all narrative based. You can choose your track, commercial, music video, whatever you kind of want to do. I chose narrative because it kind of encompassed everything. Like, mm-hmm. obviously, you can break off and do these things if you learn the story structure and, and all that stuff. So, so that's what I did. I, I just wanted to be an editor at first, though, for like the first year. And then I started making people's shit look really good that sucked. And I was like, I gotta do this myself. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm yeah. like, what am I doing? Like, I'm over here ghostwriting, <laughs> sitting in the room, just like, I'm like, you know, I gotta get out of this fucking room. So, yep. so yeah, so, you know, that's what I started doing. And, uh, and by, by the time I graduate, well, by my senior year, which was like, you know, my third year, I was already doing f- internships in, in LA and I was pretty much, <laughs> I was pretty much working for a record company. Really? Yeah. So yeah. you graduate and immediately get work? I moved the day I graduated. Moved, Damn. To, Santa, moved to Santa Monica and, and uh, the guy, the company ended up releasing all their staff and just, just was like, all right, you're the head of production now. Right out of school. Yeah. It was actually cheaper for them to pay me uh, on salary than it was to pay individual people. And to pay me because I was I was editing on two computers, so I was charging them for two hours every hour. <laughs> Yo, oh, <hold> what? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so I'd be like, I'd be, and then I'd be rendering or exporting or whatever. And, and then, start on the next shit. Yeah, and back then you had to, you know, t- you had to put your tape in and then actually play it, you know? Yo, you're a hustling motherfucker, man. Yeah. That is badass. So the, you move the day yeah. you graduate, you get a job, they fire everyone. Yep. What, what is this place? Uh, it was, so the, so the actual company was um, um, a, like a, um, colon cleanse it was this guy it was, it was this white guy he got he he bought this patent or bought this um this thing from from somebody who it was um it was called Ir- Irwin naturals i mean you know it's all documented you can check my receipts <laughs> <laughs> no but uh so so he bought he bought this off and he would do infomercials he made millions like i'll clean your you know yeah for he made millions of dollars all that millions shit. i mean this is back what so slap chopping shit was making money like 2007 that? 2007 so so then he so then he had a side he had a side girl who is you know that him and his wife and the side girl would have lunch together and 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 she was so he had it made his whole life <laughs> oh yeah and she and she and, and she was black he was white but he would come in sometimes with chains on and stuff like in like a beanie and he was like really kind of like not that style yeah so he's like, and then he would ha- and then he's like i'm starting a label so he started a label a record music yeah because the because the girl that he you know the side girl wanted him to sign two or three of her friends from high school. <laughs> this fool got played. <laughs> so he ended up, he ended up signing them. Then he's like, you know what I want to do? I want to do a, a double album for every artist on my, on my uh, label. And I want to shoot every music video for every single song. Ooh, he's ambitious. Yeah. And then he wanted to package it as a infomercial. The music and, and the music videos and the artists he was going to sell them. You know, he was, we started making infomercials for these things. She's not dumb. Uh, one of the other groups was like a, a black skateboarding group. And at that time, Wayne hadn't even started skateboarding. It was like, it just wasn't, but he was ahead of his time. I got to give him credit, you know, but none of these kids knew how to skateboard. <laughs> Jamaican bobsled team. Shout out to the wood pushers, <laughs> man. But, you know, I just, you know, it was what it was. And I was, I was getting paid and, 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 you know, I was making a lot of money, you know, but the money, I mean, I never got into this shit for the money. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course not. But as soon as you can go, cool, keep paying me that shit. <laughs> yeah, for a little bit. And then you get to a point where you're like, okay, there's nobody here teaching me anything. This guy's sitting next to me, you know, and then eventually the, the, the you know, the head of his other company t- started telling him, yo, you've already spent two, three million dollars, bro. Mm-hmm. Like if you don't start recouping. You're done. So they were done. So they're like, yo, we're cutting you off until you start making more money back. Okay. And so then I started doing infomercials and I was writing these like, uh, uh, you know, I was making news infomercials. So instead of you thinking it was an infomercial, it looked like the news. Hi, we're here reporting live. You're smart. And so, and so that, but then I'm like, like, what am I doing? Clicks online. Like, wait, what uh, oh, yeah. am I watching? Oh yeah. I mean, they're smart. YouTube wasn't even really out like that at that time. So, you know, but the, you know, one one time he he put makeup on his face, but he didn't put makeup on his his neck. It's clear. Cut. So he wanted me to yeah go in there and frame by frame, and that's when I just kind of lost it. Oh hell no. Yeah. So like the worth the amount of money I called my dad and I was like, Dad, what do I do? I was kind of I mean I was I was pretty like pretty f- flustered, hysterical, yeah. basically. Yeah, pretty, I mean I'm painting this guy's neck. Yeah. And he's sitting next to me. I'm like I don't really care how much money this is, but I didn't know what to do because like you know you figure go get, go to college, get a job. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. And my dad's like, uh, "Are you growing as a man?" I said, "No." Are you, are you growing as an artist? I said, "No, no." <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "All right, then you know what to do." So I was like, "All right," grabbed my bag and I just walked out. Good shit. Yep. That's the last day you went. Yep. So what did you do? You're jobless. Uh, car got repossessed. Got kicked out of my apartment. <laughs> If you don't believe in it that much, it's fucking worth it. And I did. And the thing was like, my vision was already there. I already saw where I was going to go. And I knew that it wasn't going to be through this avenue. So I don't, I don't recommend it. You know what I mean? And it definitely was a split, like a split second decision that, you know, hindsight, I still would make the same decision. But if it came now, I probably, you know, I would have to look at things. And look at it, get a different job. Now that you're an adult, basically. Uh, Yeah. With experience, life experience. Yeah, absolutely. You know, still. Nobody wants a car repossessed. Luckily, I mean, you know. That was what it was. I was just like, yeah, I'm saying, you, know, like, you don't want to do that shit. Like, not gonna nah, that's why you this. buy a used car. That's the, that's the you know, that's, 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 yeah, a, that's, that's a hack. True. The know? life hack. You yeah. can't get a used car repossessed. I mean, you know, cars ain't, there's there's absolutely no like benefit in buying a brand new car, you know? So, not at all. Uh, you learn that when you make a little bit of money, you know what I mean? There's certain yeah. things, you know? I'm looking at a 2019 car that I really love right now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The depreciation is a house. I, no just, I just shot with uh, D Smoke, the rapper. like and uh, Oh, D Smoke. Uh, he's from the Netflix thing, I think. Yeah. Mm, come on. Why do I know that? He, just, fucking he was up for man. a Grammy. I, I know that name. I know that name. No, he's got D-Smoke. dreads, right? Yeah, yeah. He got dreads. And yeah, I he's kind of southern. I, he's from LA. 
Bro, he looks like he's from the South. Yeah, he looks like he's from the South. He's dope. He's really cool. I've, I've only heard a couple of his songs. Oh, yes. He was that's on the, the guy. Show, right? That's the guy. Yeah. yeah. So I was thinking of somebody else, but I have seen this full before. But you think, like, you know, like, I don't think like this, but a lot of people do, you know? And, uh, you know, oh, looking for a car or whatever. And then he just shows up in his Honda and it's like, cool. Good. No, I know. I like, I, for me, it's like, I appreciate stuff like that. You know yeah, what I mean? Of course. Like, I've seen I've seen the, the wide spectrum of uh, everything you could possibly imagine. I'm sure you've seen a lot of people's and scars. I brought, get and I brought my dad and I brought my dad to all my videos, like a lot of my videos and my mom. And they were just like, what is going on? Because you know, I mean, they don't understand. They don't know everything's rented and fake and yeah. the house isn't theirs. And they're like, what? what oh, for you? every music video? Yeah. He's like, where's for real? They're like, where's he going with his chains? My dad's like, where's he going with his chains? He got his chains. I'm like, dad, it's not his chains. Why, why are you taking his car? Is that his, is that his, is that his assistant? I'm like, no, that's the car owner. We rented it. Oh, no. And my streams just all got shattered right now. Oh. All of it's fake? Yeah. Yeah, you hesitated for a long time. That means 100% is fake. Oh, yeah. No, these motherfuckers own chains. So my job, my job as a video director or just my job as a filmmaker, director, content creator is to manipulate the audience's perspective. Absolutely. In whatever way that the client asked me to. And that's the formula. That's like cooking. Like I'm turning this into that. Mm -hmm. That's what your shit is like. But you don't have to know what's in between. You just got to yeah. make sure you're entertained. But when it was, when you look at it from that sort of perspective, you know, and I try to teach this to the younger filmmakers, it just really kind of gives you a lot of clarity. Like you don't need to worry about the jib arm or this, the red camera or these certain things that a lot of these people get caught up in. A lot of the newer school ones with, you know, Instagram and, and such like, but it's like, dude, if you can get from point A to point b without any of that then great if you need some of that great but just understand what your actual mission is you know and yeah, so, that's a really good way to put it yeah it's a super good way to put it actually i think it's better explained in that short ass sentence than most people like seminars and shit you're trying to manipulate who's watching and change their perspective that's fucking awesome i yeah, love it that's all, that's all i we, love it you know it's basically it's no different than a poster or a you know a, um, you know an ad that you see or anything you know what i mean it's all the same it's all the same thing you know yeah i just don't some of my some of the kids that i went to film school with or i was around earlier were just like i mean they thought we were saving lives and i'm just like <laughs> i love what i do i mean yeah. I, I work 18 hours a day non-stop for 10 15 years but like let's just be we're making entertainment yeah let's just be honest about what yeah. it is you know what i mean and then be good at what it is mm -hmm. and not so you know up in the clouds you know so yeah of course but I try, I try to teach that. It just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't come off the tongue right. Like it just, you know. It, it, it's, it takes time, man. And plus a lot of this, what you do is, ex, is experiencing time in. You know what I mean? Like you can go to school for fucking eight years and well, come out and be like, well, I know how to use it all, yeah. but I can't get a good shot to save my fucking life. Well, but they, they're not even worried about that so much now. And I looked at this because I never had anybody to mentor me as coming up. I was always kind of the, the head guy, which was unfortunate, but. You know, a lot of these guys that hit me up are, you know, kids that I talk to because I want to I want to be able to give back and help out. Yeah. And uh, the questions that they ask me are just about technical. Hey, what's the, you know, the, the you know, 8K or 12K or 27K? And I'm just like, dude, that is pointless to me, yeah. you know, but it just seems to be where their head's at. So that excites them or transitions or, you know, some LUT or something as opposed to like, yo, like, what did, what the, are you actually doing? Do you yeah. want to get more jobs? <laughs> They're blurring the line of how fucking clean it is versus yo this has no context not even no context it's just nothing i, I tell them i in my class i was like yo it doesn't matter how big a piece it is it's just a bigger piece of shit like yeah. make it. like what's the point it's so fucking true You're like yo my camera's 8k but nobody cares dude nobody cares you're yeah. trash you know what yeah. i mean and it's not even so much that because like the, you know your clients are, are the people who are you know watching your content they don't understand any of this consciously mm -hmm. it's all subconscious and they they either know like you you know what you're doing or you don't you know what mm -hmm. i mean and they don't really care with the camera no client ever asked me hey yeah no one ever came what, what are you filming in i mean it's like some you know passer buyers you know what i mean hey i have a jbc at home what is that you know like that oh you always get that yeah but i mean <laughs> as far as as far as you know everybody else you know what i mean and then it's like you know it's a uh, I, I, I looked at your website and basically you just summed it up. I watched a little little clip of the game saying, I didn't even read the treatment. I just oh, walked yeah. in and I know he's going to kill it. I don't know the concept. I ain't read the treatment. Um, Matt Alonzo, ever since we did Doughboys, Martians versus Goblins, Celebration, like, that's my director. It's my go-to director. And uh, he writes these treatments. And I just show up at the video and it always turns out cool, man. But that's, you got to trust your team, so. Sick. Yeah. That's the, that's the confidence. Like, I walk in and go, Marty's got it. 
Sit down. Absolutely. <laughs> no, it's going to get edited because he's got it. Absolutely. Yeah, dude, that's like the confidence everyone should have in you when you're doing your job. For everyone out there, people should know that when they say your name, go, oh, fucking awesome. Sick. Thank you. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's, like, just, it's just understanding what your job is. You it's, know you're mean? a brand. No matter how hard you think you're not, you oh, are a brand. Oh, absolutely. I'm a brand, but I'm also, they also, I'm also uh, given a brand, your brand or, or games mm -hmm. brand, literally in my hands to, you know, he's trusting me to actually, mm -hmm. you know, get results and to, and to, you know, do whatever it is that he's, you know, Hey, I want to touch this audience. Or I want, I want to hit my own audience to buy this out, whatever it is. Right. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's on my shoulders, like a, an established brand. And I don't think too many filmmakers or content creators actually understand it. Yeah, you have to soak it in in the terms of, I'm filming Avril Lavigne. I'm not going to have her throwing money. But see, that's the thing is that they they have an idea. A lot of them will have an idea. I want to have her, I want to have somebody upside down in 16 millimeter with flashing lights and Avril Lavigne comes across the desk and that's who's going to get that treatment. And it's, it, that's what I'm trying to teach them is like, yo, understand everybody's, uh, because they want to do it. You know I what I mean? You. It's like making beats. You're like, yo, this is going to be good for everyone that walks in. Like, nah, bro. Yeah. Get the person in and talk. You just, you know, you wouldn't send the same thing that you would send to Miley Cyrus to D smoke. You know what I mean? You would, exactly. But they do. And that's why music videos are kind of <laughs> different, I guess you would say now. Uh, I've seen some really good ones and I've seen some very boring ones lately. Yeah. I mean, it just depends on how much you like the artist, I think. I mean, uh, to me, I've always said it, a really good song can go everywhere, but a really good song with a good music video is classic. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's and, true. No, it is. It is. And, and with all the psychology behind music and the science that, you know, it brings up memories and all these things in our, you know, in our brains, if the visual is attached to that, then, I mean, you're, you're synonymous with somebody's like first kiss or whatever for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what I've noticed a lot when, when I get because now like these 10, 12 year olds are like, man, I remember listening to you on, you know, the camp I went to in third grade. I'm like, whoa, whoa, watching whoa. your video. I'm like, oh man, but I'm still with them like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, of course. And that's cool, you know, because the songs were really big, the videos were really big and then they attach some sort of life changing moment or, you know. I remember when I was in our first heard fucking thong song and saw the video. Ooh. I remember these things because MTV used to be the fucking shit. And these to oh, premiere man. videos and then so world dope. premiere come on with a little world spinning globe. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck, who we? Oh, trash. But there was some time, I'm like, yeah, because we used to uh, tape them. Dude, right? Yeah, I used to tape that shit. Yep. Like, oh, commercial, fuck. Fuck Wait, this commercial. Did you have blank tapes or did you blank actually? Tapes. Okay. And, so we would, and we would get like one blank tape. I'm like, are you done with this one? Oh, yeah. Let's re just, record it. Yeah. Yeah, my grandpa would tape all the Niner games. So I'm like, oh, I'm a sneak one of these. Why would he tape games. the Niner games? Because he worked every day and oh, he'd, oh, okay. he's a diehard. All right, yeah, so I get he'd that. miss it always uh, yeah at least he didn't tape so what i did is we just taped over all our movies we just put the tape on the actual little you know the little square that you that would be taken really? out I yeah you could do that shit oh yeah disney movies were a wrap what my house <laughs> oh hell no i didn't i would have never bought a blank tape like, in my life. like you, like you know the you know the like the the old cassette tapes there was those two little holes on the top yes so if you bought a like a, a one that was a recordable it, it actually had like it didn't have the indentions. And if you wanted it to be so that you couldn't press record, you just crack those little things. But if you if you got a tape that was like crisscross and actual tape, you could just tape over the little indentions and now it was a recordable. Get the fuck Same out Same thing for videos. I'm so not technical. I'm so trash with that shit. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea how I, 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 like a lot of stuff I learned when I was a little, little kid, I have no idea how I did, like how I learned it, but. So you're sitting, uh, I know it's going straight back, but All good. you associated how these videos and this is making your parents laugh and making people laugh. What was the turning point? Is there something you remember watching and you saw go, I kind of like filming or was it just a phase of your life? I mean, it was my, my whole life. You know what I mean? And obviously I, I think when your parents, um, as a young kid, you know what I mean? Understanding like psychology now, cause psychology plays such a huge part in, in filmmaking. I study psychology heavily, but you know, being able to make my parents, happy or, or, you know, please them, you know, I guess it's probably the better word, um, was, was motivating for me mm -hmm. as, as a five-year-old kid. Yeah, you know what I mean? Of course, man. <laughs> hey, look at that reaction. Look at me, look at me, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so then, I mean, obviously having that sort of, you know, reward um, dangled and then it was just a motivating factor. So it was always, it was always there. But then I realized, you know, with this visual, I can do these things. I'm manipulating. Same thing, like I said earlier, yes. you know, so I learned that in some sense early on. And then I learned what stories were actually for, like why humans develop stories or why they tell stories. And mm -hmm. it's for you, for us to learn something from these other people so that we don't have to go through it. Yeah. So it just, it's all there, you know what I mean? 
And I just, it was fascinating to me. That's so sick, man. So you go from a little kid, you quit your job, then you get your shit repossessed. That's where we're at right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, so remember, guys, you can fuck up. Oh yeah, and still come back strong. And I still fu- and I still fucked up plenty of times after that. You See, know it's, I mean? it's it's a, it's, it's a growing process. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's a growing like, like, oh, I fucked up this one time. Like I can never show my face. Like nah, you have to. Fuck the thing is that the thing is that you have to fuck up to be able to to understand. Like, if you're not fucking up, you're not going to be successful because that means you're you're inside your your box, comfort your comfort zone. zone. Yeah, you're just chilling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing's. And you can still fuck up in there. Yeah, that's, I fucking do. <laughs> so, so, so it's like if you're gonna if you're gonna fuck up, which we all are, it's inevitable. Why not just do it for you know a higher risk? Like, why not? Like, you know, a higher reward, I guess. Throw yes. some more. Throw some more. You know, just go all in. Fuck it. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? So of course. So yeah, where were we at? I was uh oh, I quit my job. Yeah, eating quit. top ramen. No, just fuck. Like, you're back. You're back to it. Back to college life again. Man, basically, not even bro. Because college, I was living with my parents. So I was popping. Oh shit. And, and I was like you. I was moving weight. I was moving weight on the compound. So I was like, oh, I mean, okay. you know, like because I was the only guy who was from this, the the town. Like my film school was like uh, 10, 10 miles away from my home my hometown. So. Oh, so once you get there, go, I have weed. All you have to do is smell like weed oh, yeah. and made money. Oh, yeah. I remember those walking into parties. I, the only reason I go to parties is to sell weed to people. Absolutely, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and we, and, and our, and the, our film school like, was like, uh, uh, each class was like 30 dudes to one girl. I just had to say that because it was just so, it was so bad. Oh, you had to and, that's your, and that's your college? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And you're out, what'd you call it? Cooper what? Or uh, it, What's your town called? Uh, Carpinteria, but, Carpinteria. But, but my film school was it was in uh, Ventura. It was called Brooks Institute of Photography. It was on the Aaron Brockovich set, which they had a whole like you know. But when I was in high school, you know, I was playing varsity and stuff, so I was going to UCSB, which was the uh, the the University of Santa Barbara College, and I was partying out there. I I La Vista. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's like number two or seven on the top lit party schools of. Oh hell, we got Chico up north. Okay, so it's comparable. So I was yeah. going there in high school. You know, my sophomore. Uh, so man, you are just like me. Yeah. So hanging out with the older kids is not a good idea. I suggest you guys don't do it because do when it, they graduate, then you're you got no homies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All my homies were three years older than me. <laughs> Hey, but it was fun though, you know. Fucking awesome! Yeah, you don't gotta awesome. drive. They make sure you're okay because you're younger. And then you you black approach drunk. ladies, like anything. It's just like, hey, I was having fun. Oh, I had fun too. Yeah, so yeah, like, I so, understand. so I didn't really need that college experience. To be honest, in college, I was just like working, just going ham. Well, man, you got it all out in high school to be successful in college. That's like, I said, good, good, good method. Yeah, it's usually the opposite. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I'm <laughs> thankful. I'm very thankful that it worked out the way it did. And my parents were very like, "Hey, if you're gonna smoke, you're gonna do shit. Do it here. Like, at least uh, you're not. Oh no, we were wait, like, do um, all my friends. Mexican bro. lady said you're allowed to smoke. Weed oh, my mom, my mom, my mom actually was the the the. I mean, she smokes weed to this day. Like, I mean, all, I mean, that's she's more of a. My dad was not really into that, like, but he but he would much prefer us doing it at the house. So you say it's such a taboo thing for Mexican ladies. I've. You don't know? Do you have other family? What are they? What, I can just see them. Yeah, but not, yeah. <laughs> but see, even my even my other my mom's side of the family is still like they're fine with weed. Yeah. Wow, you are rare. Yeah, you're yeah. a rare one. You're very fucking lucky. It's worse than not speak Spanish, bro. <laughs> it's worse than not speaking Spanish. But you smoke weed. Drug addict. My, you know, my son lives here. He's on meth. No, yeah, he's my yeah, son. Yeah, I know. It's fine, that's right? Coke, great. Coke, anything coke, else? Beating yeah. the fuck out of coke your wife. Like, coke and beer, that's like dinner. That Exactly. Coke and beer. No, I did a line. Where's my food? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, I I, that's, just, I, that's just Mexican family. I grew up with that shit, dude. Yeah, no, it's um, crazy, you know? So, so where, where'd you go after that? After you stopped doing top ramen, uh, food, and shit? How'd you get, what's your next Craigslist. Break? Just looking for work. Craigslist looking for work. And um, my, my roommate at the time, shout out to Royal Honor. He was uh, he was the engineer at the record record company that ended up folding. And then he was working at I don't know odd jobs, and he was connected to to the a uh, couple of people in San Diego that were at the um, reservation, the Indians. Oh shit! And a couple of the young sons of like the chiefs or whatever they were um, they were making so much money because of their bloodline that they their dad was like yo you got to do something because you, you're making fifty eighty or whatever it was a thousand dollars a month you got to go figure out something that you yeah. want to do. So they became rappers. Really? <laughs> yeah, they became rappers, and so. So one night, he, yeah, one night he asked me, he's like, yo, you want to go to San Diego to film this concert? I'm like, sure. And, uh, 
he's like, you know, you never, I don't even told me who it was for. I didn't know who they were at the time. So they were, they were, they weren't rappers. Let's just say that, you know, they, they looked like to rappers. Be. They looked yeah. like rappers and they threw money from the ceiling at San Diego house of blues. So I packed up my, uh, my little, uh, one chip camera, grabbed my buddy, uh, Rev and, uh, we drove down there and then I'm walking in and I look up to the thing and it's little Wayne, little Wayne's on the marquee. I'm like, he must be here another night or something. Cause this was like Carter one had just, uh, Carter two, pop and yeah, Carter two. Man. So Carter two, Carter three was coming out, was about to come out. So I'm like, and I was a huge Wayne fan at that time, you know, like I, that's college was just all Wayne. So I was like, nah, he's, was he here? And then sure enough, they were open. They paid to open up for him. They got money. Oh yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> they got Dude, fucking money. Not only bro. did they do that, but there there was just bills. Their whole set just falling from the ceiling. Cause they were, they, you know, they weren't the most entertaining, you know, I had to do something for people to go, y'all love them. I had to do something, you know <laughs> what I mean? But I'm right there in the, in the pit or whatever. I don't even yeah, know what that is. Underneath. That's was your first show. I've never been to a concert like before that. Never, nothing like, you know, I'm playing football. Lucky I'm out here partying dude. and stuff. I ain't going to concerts. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm like, and then they were like, no, nope, everybody after this show is over, you guys have to go, you know, you guys are out of here. And I'm like, no, there's no way I'm out of here. And so my roommate ended up, you know, he was a, the mouthpiece of, of the group. Sure enough, they were like, okay, you guys can shoot, but you have to deliver us a promo for, for Wayne because he's going on tour in Europe. So give us a promo with these you know, countries on it and whatever, and you guys can film. So, so we would just- Give you a project you want. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even care about that at the time. I was just like, I'm not moving. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. So I was just right underneath and I'm just like, I'm freaking out, you know? Because I had never filmed anything and like really. And even that, someone you like too, someone I mean, you listen to. I mean, I knew every like that. The connection someone. goes back to I'm in college, yeah. you know, just like we were talking about earlier. It's the connection of what you were doing. It brings you back. It was crazy. It was crazy. So that night I was like, yo, I told my roommate Royal, like, yo, we got to get back. Let's get back. Let's get back. Drove back. I don't remember what time we got home. Two, three. Popped in the tapes, started importing, started editing. You know, I, I edited um, like his live set of gossip and uh, the song Gossip, which was like, you know, really hot at the time. And I put it out and this is 2008 on YouTube. So no one, no one was really popping on. Like it wasn't really doing anything. There was videos of people running on trampolines and shit. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I put Little Wayne Gossip official music video. Oh. And so every, the next day. hacked it. <laughs> Every, every blog had it and MTV and everything. So, and so it just, on your own channel. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. But I mean, at this time though, it's, it's like, I mean, it got a million or, you know, which was, I mean, just humongous, you know what I mean? Like in a couple of days, but like, it wasn't like that. Like people weren't subscribing. Like no one was really on there like that, but people were watching on blog just like, but barely, you know? Yeah. But it's something you created and the first big thing you oh, did. I was, and, I was, oh. oh, I was gassed. I mean, because everything I'd done before this was like, Hey, here's a box of like 500 tapes for $27. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can you just import those for me? I'm like, <laughs> all right. I guess so. Yeah, exactly. Get, get some top ramen. So, uh, so yeah, I just, you know, I don't know. There was nothing really, there was no money or anything, you know, no, it's just that fucking connected win. to it. But then uh, I, I ended up checking my YouTube, like after I finished a little promo for him for, for Wayne's people and uh, DJ ski was uh, starting ski TV, which was, he was games DJ. And he was like, Hey, I'm starting this thing. I looked on his channel. He had about four videos and I uh, met up with them and I, you know, they didn't have much money. He was a startup. And I'm like, all right, I just want to, you know, ownership. And I just want to partner up and oh, of, the, of ski TV. Yeah. Smart. You yeah. Did it right. So it was just us. And, and next thing you know, like, I told him, I said, look, I can do this, bro. Like, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Lil Wayne invited me out to, to the uh, Lollipop music video. I saw the way, like, an actual music video set ran. And I was 60 like, fucking people. I was like, yo, this is trash. I'm Like, not the trash like that, but, like, I, I, I did this in film school. I'm, I'm prepared. Let's go. Oh, you're saying, like, ah, uh, this is what I'm made to do? Yeah, Easy. like, it didn't put it, me in. I knew what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to play. I know the playbook. So he invited you over there. You see it and go. It's at the Maloof's house. I'm going to kill this. What's the what? The Maloof's house. The owners of the Sacramento Kings at the time. Oh, shit. And they, and they owned a couple. The Palms, I think. In Vegas. In Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> it was the at their house. Yeah, it was at their house. It was like, you know, I mean, that's where I met Tyga and Kendrick. I met K Kendrick was, his name was K-Dot at the time. He was like. Oh, this is like pre-2010. Dude, this is 2007, 2008. Maybe 2000. Yeah, yeah. Out still, yeah. yeah, I mean, he was, I mean, passing out his mixtape still. <sighs> Tyga had just got his, his, his young money chain, um, Schoolboy Q, all these guys. So Glasses Malone was still on the rec on, on Young Money. Damn, so, I remember that. Yeah. I so, remember him. So oh, I met all those shit. dudes there. You know, we filmed the behind the scenes, came back. Oh, you filmed the behind the scenes of the music video getting filmed? Yeah. Dude, I brought it. <laughs> First time I heard it, I was smoking a blunt across the street from my house. 
What? Lollipop song. I was smoking a blunt crush oh, yeah. in my house in the car. Like, 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 first time I heard it. <laughs> the first time Wait, I heard it. Wait, do you like it or not? Um, I didn't listen to mainstream music until I was 22. So Fuck that. I don't like that. I was like, oh, it's on the radio? Turn that off. I am not that. I was mad ignorant still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it is what it is, you know? No, now that I think about it, like if you're on the radio, you had good albums to get on the radio. Yeah, or you just had somebody to... Now. Now it's a little different. Yeah. You could tell who bought it. <laughs> Even back then, though. I mean, back then there was only f so many artists. You know what I mean? It wasn't like yeah, it wasn't internet. Pop off. It wasn't yeah, internet nah. yet. MySpace. I was on MySpace still, so my MySpace was still popping. I had to reach out to a homie to like do some HTML weird stuff, so my my thing came out different than everybody else's. Uh, yeah. So like that's how that's how back in the day it was. You know. Yeah. Um, so you see. So you you my, hit the behind the scenes? Yeah, behind the scenes, boom. I brought all my friends, all my friends from film school. There was like seven <sighs> seven of us. All of them had cameras. Some of them had two cameras. Hyped. Dude, I, I had like 30 videos, you know, edited an hour-long BTS. I didn't know what I was doing, you know what I mean? But uh, no one really cared about that and just whatever. But uh, but ski, you know, so. And then I started hooking up with Tyga, Schoolboy Q, filming all their like videos for them. Kendrick, J-Rock. Um, that was, you know. Question. Yeah. Is J-Rock ever signed to Strange Music? I don't know. I, I, I did. I did some work with Strange too. I went out to Kansas City. Yeah. Um. But I don't think so. I was at a show. Mm -hmm. Tech Nine's. I just signed a new artist. He's from Compton, California. This is J Rock. He's awesome. his first first tour. But Maybe. he was mad skinny. Yeah. No, he is skinny. No, like that was mad skinny. What He's, year was this? Do you know what year? Two thousand nine. Maybe ten. No, because that uh, two thousand nine. He was. He was the. He was the. The. the he was the Warner Brothers like main. Um, then it top priority. There's another guy named J Rock. Then oh, maybe. has to be because I remember Tech Nine brought him out. I was like, "Yo, this shit's hard." Maybe, but Compton, California. I mean, he's from Compton, right? Yeah, no, that's him. Does it say that he was signed? Yeah, it does. Strange. Yep. Oh, that, what year was that? Strange music. Oh yeah, yeah, right there. He then signed. With, oh, so yeah, this was him because I remember he came out what and year? it was like after some, 2007. It says. Yeah, see? yeah, okay, so right yeah, there was the some time. gang banger shit. I go on a Tech Nine show, but this shit's hard. What? I didn't know that. Yeah, he came out. He was mad skinny. He had a big ass chain. Yeah. Strange music chain. It's like we just signed him this for this tour. Wow. This is the second show on the tour. Wow. Yeah, I, I remember, remember that. something today. You guys learned something today. <laughs> I remember that. Shout out to J Rock though, you know, Top Dog, all Hard. those dudes. You know what I mean? And like like I said, he was the he was on billboards. He had a song with Wayne that was coming out. So like it, it was it was crazy, you know. But no one they weren't popping like like at all. No, not you know? yet. Not yet. Yeah. And I remember the day that Kendrick changed his name from K Dot. We were shooting a music video. My buddy Rev was shooting a music video for him, like in our back alley. And and that's when he made his change. We actually have it on video, like we have the videos of it all. It's the best thing, man. You have all historical ass moments. Yeah. Well, I mean I mean, you didn't know was, yet. You didn't know yet. I mean, I have a bunch of other artists that, you know, videos that didn't do, you know what I mean? But it's yeah. like, you know, it's just part of the journey. You know what I mean? And it's so awesome to see all these people just, you know, become successful. It's, you can only, you know, only be, be happy, happy for Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you, you can just, only be happy It makes for me happy. It makes me excited. It gets me gassed. Like, I'm, I'm just really, you know, I don't know. It's just, you know, something that you... How do you wish upon anybody anything other than success? You know what I mean? That comes across. Yeah, you... you if you do, you won't last. Yeah, I just you I won't last because those vibes won't fly. Yeah, no, nah, it makes me really happy. You know what I mean? So, so that was that was really cool. And then you know, Ski, um, you know, I met with Ski and uh, and I didn't have a crew at the time though. I was just a direct director editor, so it was just like me and a camera. Oh, you doing by yourself all this? Yeah, pretty much. And then all the all the people that I brought to the BTS ended up going back home, working at Blockbuster or, or, oh, or you know Motorola or whatever. They you know they just lives they owed one twenty in school bills and uh, had to get on with twenty bands. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's how much it costs to go to film school. Oh, your face. That's how expensive. Yeah, they took a second mortgage out. Know? That's why they did that. Yeah. Hundred twenty. Nah, I mean, for school. But but some of these kids would take out the max, and I feel bad for one. I gotta tell the story. But one of my friends, he didn't understand that the money he had to pay back. <laughs> <laughs> how sad. And his and his mom, his parents, ended up buying a motorcycle, a motorhome with this money. With school money. Yeah. Or with like you know. Uh, federal dumb. head so and then at the end we're, we're we're sitting like a day away from graduation and and we're like talking like about our, our loans and stuff he's like oh i ain't gotta pay it back or whatever and we're like no you gotta it's loaned to you you gotta pay it back and his face was just exactly like yours he's you like know, yeah i know a, that what a I know hit that. what a that. fucking reality check yeah so no, you're 120 <laughs> 22 just at the jump oh man at least you can and then trying to the job trying to live in la too like you know oh, you saying? owe another 120k yeah it's, <laughs> it was you know so those a lot of my friends went back and so i didn't really have anybody else to rock with i think like one percent of my school actually like went on to do anything like anything in the industry wow i realized that there's a lot of people who like to watch films not necessarily make them so don't if you guys out there if you like to watch films just go to the movies or yeah 
you know, pay for hobby, your, pay for your net Netflix, but do not go to film school. But um, so, so then I was looking for a crew and uh, I met this rapper and he was like, hey, I have this, these guys who have a bunch of lights and a bunch of stuff. They're all living in a, a studio, like six of them in a studio. They just graduated LA film school. Damn. Do you, do you want to get on a call? I got on a call with them. And then Ski called me and said, hey, can you meet me at the, at the studio? And I went over there and it was Snoop's studio. We were shooting a video for Snoop. Snoop, Good DJ shit. Quick and, and uh, Terrence Martin. And uh, uh, that's where I met Ben, Ben, Ben. Ben, ben Baller. I met Ben Baller. Ben Baller. The dude who had just knocked out Suge. Um, oh, 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 the gangbanger dude. Yeah, remember the. Yeah, yeah. And Teo, Teofimo Lopez, he was a little kid at the time. He he was in the video. Who? He, a boxer? He, yeah, the boxer. I'm just not. Won. He, you guys are the boxer. Yeah, I'm, guys. A huge, I'm a huge boxer, man. He just won. He just, he just beat a, a big. He's big right now. But uh, I didn't realize until the other day I was watching the footage. I'm like, yo, that's him. That's badass. Dude, he was, he was 11 or 10. <sighs> what a badass. F- to see a little prodigy grow up, like, hey, I got you on film Dude, I didn't as a even, kid. I mean, it, it, but I didn't even connect the dots. But uh, but yeah, so I called those guys and said, hey, can you guys meet me over here? Uh, I'm at Snoops. And so they 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 came. On the way. On the way, yeah. And we had like eight different ca- kinds of cameras, like spare lights, just whatever, you know? Yeah. And we waited around for like so 15 have, hours. You haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? We got to, we got to introduce the, uh, to the business. You know how that goes. Damn. Oh, was nah, as long as you long. ever waited? Uh, three days, two days, three days. At a set? Nah, I mean, we went home. We didn't sleep there. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Say, fuck that shit. That's the way it goes. Even sometimes with their own videos, they don't show up. Really? Well, the only time I knew that was real is that damn Young Thug video where they made oh, yeah, it without awesome. his ass. I love that, dude. Love that shit. And there's, and there's a story like that for every single music video like that people do. Like, not just me, everybody. That's why I never judge a music video. I can't. Because I don't know if the, the artist showed up, didn't show up. He wanted to change the idea that day. They gave him ten dollars to shoot the video. They gave him a hundred thousand dollars. I don't know anything, so I can't. I can't. You know all the pain that goes through that shit. Oh yeah, I know everything. Like it could be in free free video for all I know. So damn. So I'm like, I can't. I can't. I don't judge videos anymore. Like that video sucks. It's a good way to put it. Nah, hell no. It's a good way to put it. You don't know what went into that shit, dude. You never know, man. Nice. Never know. I like that. I like that outlook on it. You can't just judge motherfuckers because it it's not as good as your shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or or you know, just, or they're garbage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, or they're garbage. Yeah, sometimes they're garbage, but yeah, like sometimes. I, but just in general, I just look at it from a very neutral standpoint. Just probably like they went through hell, like because so, all my videos, there was a huge story just similar to to that one. That really? Was, oh, absolutely. Can you tell me one? Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, like Common Nas, they called me like the day before, date the day of for like, Common and Nas video. Yeah, like hey, you want to shoot this? We had no treatment, no nothing, and <sighs> budget was. A few thousand dollars. So I just grabbed the camera. They're like, hey, they're going to be at the recording studio. Do you want to just come there and shoot a music video? I'm like, okay. And so, you know, like stuff like that where I just grab a 5D and just go. Like, But the video did so, it was such a big song and, and it did so well that you just wouldn't think anything like that, you know? Um, <laughs> you know? People not show people not showing up to your videos well, before? That, like, yeah, oh yeah, all the time. I mean, and, <laughs> and really late. And to their, I mean, it's their own videos, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Then the way and, you said it was that And the, and the biggest thing is like when they go, they show up, they do one, they do one shot and they're like, so like what time do you think I'll be out of here? <laughs> really? <laughs> all the time, dude. It's your own craft. Like, why would you not want to be here and make sure it's dope? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if they are. Really? Uh, sometimes maybe they're, they're newer artists. They have the perspective of like they don't understand what the day's going to entail. Because my dad never knew. My dad would be very like, "You guys are shooting that again. You guys, what is that big old lens? You know." And so I, I got, I kind of got a perspective from him on maybe how somebody who hadn't been through these trenches before. But a lot of times I'm working with established artists, so yeah, they know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, but they are. They're, they're just trying to get out of there. They're, I guess they're probably not trying to have an 18 to 20 hour day. Which is probably what I'm they were. I'm with it. That sounds bomb. Yeah, but yeah. I get it. I guess when you're, hold on, I've never been rich as fuck either. So I guess when you're rich as fuck and you got like fame, you're like, yo, I got shit to do yeah. besides the stuff I get paid to do. But now, but see, now that I know the way that the, the industry works and stuff, a lot of these, I mean, they're, they're, they're not necessarily rich. I mean, they're more well off than a lot, but they're not necessarily like, and some of them aren't actually. Some of them, you know, Oh, oh, the record label money. So it's just get the fuck out of here. Well, yeah, the oh. way that it works is it's like, yo, here's an advance, you know, here's X amount of dollars. Okay, you can spend that. You always you, you pay it back, but it's just for you to kind of like live on. And then we're gonna pay for your album. Oh, you want a haircut? Cool. Boom. You want this? You want that? And then once that's all done, all right, now you got to make us back whatever it is that we spent. Usually they'll have a number, one million. Okay, you got to make us back one million. And your record sales. Yeah, and so before you see a penny. And if you don't make this back, then you guys make another album, and we're gonna spend another million dollars on that. So now you're in one five. Are I mean, you it, fucking I mean, that's, serious? A, that's obviously a very sim- 
simplistic way to look at it, but yes. So it's a never ending cycle of, oh, you, you if, owe me money if I make you look cool. If you, well, if you fly, like if you don't uh, live up to standards, you know, and then if you spend more money, if you're late to sets, if you're getting arrested, if you're doing these certain, certain things, I mean, you know, there's a couple of rappers out there who were really hot. They just could, you know, I'm not going to say their names, but they just couldn't, they couldn't, um, they weren't with it and they started losing a lot of money and they just, and their records were making money, but it just got to a point where the record label was like, you know, you're, this is the liability. It just doesn't make any sense for us. I, I get what the record label is coming from. I, I get it. The record label is a bank. They're yeah, basically but, saying here. Yeah. Pay but also back. not trying to give you no money extra that you deserve. <laughs> it sounds like yeah. they're just like, no, no, we keep the 90% profit. Yeah. You go make your own money you on tours, 10. on, on oh. merchandise, on all that stuff. Cause they'll take a little bit from it. Not much. And I've heard the 360 deal is where they get a piece of every fucking thing you do. Right. Yeah. So like I was, I was with Nipsey in Europe, like for like three weeks. And uh, I didn't even know who he was at the time, to be honest. Like I had, I, Ski called me. He's like, yo, go, you're going to Europe, Nipsey Hustle. I'm like, I heard the name, but I didn't know his music. He's like, listen to the stuff on the way there. I listened to the whole, you know, Marathon, Marathon Continues. And I was like, what the fuck? This guy's amazing. And then he was he was talking to Ro Rick Ross on the phone with me. And he was like, he had it on speaker because we stayed in the same room. And he was trying to sign him to a deal, whatever, whatever. And he told me after that, he's like, look, he's like, don't ever sign a 360, Matt. I'm like, I'm not a rapper. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he's like, anytime that comes across, you, you know, you're, you know, your table or anything because they're going to take a piece of everything that you've already established. Ugh. Not even like from here on, you know? Yeah. And so it's not it, for an artist. Taking advantage. Yeah. But at the same time, you're getting a I platform mean, too. It is. Yeah. It is a given, a give and take, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it just man. depends on how much you, uh, how much you trust, like how much you, you're going to bet on yourself. I mean, I guess how much you're going to bet on yourself either way, but. You Damn. Know. I yeah. see. I, I never had it fully explained, but that shit sounds like a never-ending cycle. It is. And then, so when I met Tyga, Tyga had just signed with the Cadence, which was Pete Weintz from the Fallout Boys label. He was signed to Gym Class Heroes. Then he was signed to Young Money. Damn. Young Money was signed to Cash Money. Cash Money was signed to Warner. So all those things had to get money before he even got a penny. <laughs> His manager, whoever else. Too. God, middlemen times ten. But then you, when you start signing with people and they chain you up and stuff, I mean, you know. Kendrick had the same sort of similar thing. He had he had he had Geffen, Interscope, Aftermath, uh, Top, Top Dog. Dog. Yeah, and so eventually they cleared all his stuff up. But like, wow, you know, see, there's a lot more that goes into that. So much than, more you than know? people think. Just making music, like you're a rapper, do it. Like, full. I'm fucking tired. It's not. Yeah, and that's why I started. <laughs> that's why I went into managing. Like I'm managing now. Oh, so, do you? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm brand new. You know, I'm very fresh. But you know the industry. I know the industry. I know how to. Because like a big part of the industry is making the content, creating the content, getting you know. Um, having ideas to even go hire somebody to do yeah. these things, you know, so that part is taken care of, you know what I mean? Whether I'm doing it or I have somebody else do it, I'm creating the ideas and everything like that. So, um, but as far as know, knowing the industry, now there's a lot of things I don't know as far as like little details are like, what's the protocol here? Because I know, you know, so that's, that's interesting to learn. It's, it's, it's out of my comfort zone, but yeah, I mean, having this sort of experience, having this knowledge, having all these people that, um, you know, I've done work for and, and, uh, if the budget wasn't always up to, up to par, I'll always be like, Hey, you owe me a, a song at my wedding. And it doesn't, look, it, it doesn't look like I'm getting married. So I can kind of cash these in another, in other ways. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying. So, so, and so I was like, I got to a point where I'm like, yeah, I want to, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to do more than just, you know, just, just shoot a video, you know, yeah, so. get, get, get into everything. And then you can always remember, no, I'll, I'll kill the video. I'm yeah, just no, a manager got, too. Yeah. I got that part. You know what I mean? But, I, but I also like, I've seen so much of uh, artists and you know just you know ups and downs of, of things where if i can help to you know get yeah. you out of those landmines then you know people they need that though I, and that's that's what i'm here for you know what i mean yeah. that, that 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 for me gives me more gratification than shooting a video with a red camera mm -hmm. or something you know what i mean like that yeah it's, it's long i mean it's not longer lasting because obviously the video is forever the music's forever but it's more genuine and beneficial for the person that's making the shit that everyone listens to. Absolutely. You know, you know? I mean, yeah, I, you get to a point where in, where I don't know, I'm just about other people. You know what I mean? Like I just, mm -hmm. I want to help out. You know what I mean? It's the way to be, man. Yeah. That's the, that's the best vibe you can give out is trying to make it better. So when you're gone, everybody goes, no, no, no. Solid. Yeah, absolutely. Solid as they come. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Solid as a rock. I, I'm telling you, dude, like, it's That's hard a to find. great it, way to look really, at it. It's really hard to find. I mean, now, since it's all monetized, it's a little bit easier like to find it. Hi, how you doing? Is, you know, want to know how to podcast? We'll show you here. Like, mm -hmm. it, you know, now it's structured. Yeah, but it's monetized. So, like, you don't really know the genuine where they're coming from. You know what I mean? But, but when I was coming up, there was nobody to, to learn from. So mm -hmm. if I had questions, I had questions. I just sat in my head. Yeah, dude. What you, about you? you? I you mean, did, where, did you have a mentor or anything? No, I was just selling packs. 
Got a phone. <laughs> That's it. I sold pies my whole life. Burner. That, yeah, I, yeah, I got a smartphone, and the day I got a smartphone, my girl was like, get Instagram. I go, I'm cool. Apps? Fuck that shit. I ain't trying to be traced. Yeah, exactly. That was the thing. I had an Instagram. I took a picture of a lemonade, and I was like, ah, shit's sick. I posted it. My friend came over to buy weed, and he goes, you know they post weed on Instagram. I go, fuck you. No. And then I looked on, and there's a whole community online, Wait. and I never knew there was a weed community oh, yeah, on Instagram. What year did you get on Instagram? 2012. Oh, man. I had no idea. And then I saw, like, What's high times cannabis cup? What the fuck? They got a cup, it's not a magazine? And then wow. I was like, you know, what am I going to do different? So I would make, my thing was, I would make, I would get toys. Like, uh, you ever seen Reservoir Dogs? I don't remember Reservoir Dogs. Okay, there's well. a scene where one of these robbers cuts, uh, there's a cop tied to a chair and he cuts, slices his ear off. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I got like a nug. I went and bought a fake wooden chair. Oh, you stem made the legs. Little- and I was taking like before videos, I was taking one, two, three, four, oh, and doing wow. storyboard Stop. like not, not stop image, like one it didn't have video, so I would post one, two, three, four in one picture, collage picture. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. it'd be like a story leading and it'd be like having him move, then he sliced, and I put ketchup on the side of it, like, like he's bleeding. And I would just make movies like a Ramble First Blood, like him. Ketchup with on the, your nugs? I mean, I'm I had kidding. pounds. So I was like, <laughs> I'll just waste a little bit of this nug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it would look like movie scenes, and that's how that's I started. Crazy. Yeah, I didn't show my face. I didn't show and anything. No one was, I mean, no one was doing that, right? No one was doing that yeah, shit. I can't imagine. Like, that's, uh, that's, that's amazing. That's like... Uh, that's it was fun, though. I, I, just, I always reference it to Forrest Gump when he the lady drops the book and he picks up their notebook. Hey, you dropped it. Yeah. He's not really there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they did a good job of making it look like he was there. So that's my whole motivation was fucked up things that you wouldn't think that are real. Like, I put myself on stage with, like, the Beatles and shit with smoking a joint. <laughs> just... But crop it in, make it look. It was shitty on an app, but the concepts were there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And that's yeah, how I started. Yeah, I started. I started filming off my phone. I just got a camera two years ago. I was just filming. And for how old years. were you? Twenty two. You were twenty two when turning twenty three when I started. Oh man, yeah, that's fun. No, it was f- fucking great. I just stopped selling weed though because my face was on the internet and my page Ooh. got big, so I started going broke because I sell weed no more. Dang, bad. That's tough. But so I just went and got another job. I just went and got a job again. Fuck it. Went to, I was going to college still. Hi, uh, welcome to Taco Bell. Can I take your order, please? Now it's pizza, p- uh, a pizza spot. And I was hey. selling weed on the deliveries. Oh, so then you had a cover for it. Yeah, and then I got Instagram, so I, st- I had to race out pizza spot, and I stopped selling weed. And it got bad. Because <laughs> now I don't got a job. So I worked at U-Haul. I said, fuck it. I'm going to work at U-Haul. I do moving companies. Hey, you gotta do what you got to do. Get discounts on these fucking <laughs> on these for my family and shit. So fuck and, it. And how long did you run that for? I did that for like a year and a half. And then I started Push Trees as in my clothing company. And from then, f- from 2013 to 19, that's the like the only money I made, because I don't get paid for content. I don't get paid for it. YouTube doesn't pay me at all because it's because uh, it's weed related, I guess. So but what do you mean? I mean they're kept. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. The Vice got print. Vice got that check mark, and they show crystal map. <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah, no, we we can see. I should, Marty knows. We we can see how much money I make. I don't get it. It's just uh, transparent. You can't wow. click on it. I mean, something within the guidelines or something. I don't. I don't know. They that. told me straight up, like "fuck you," but in a polite way. But it's okay. I just wanted the platform to talk and, and to make my videos. Hey, run, run it up. Yeah. You know so I, mean? um, I didn't do. I just made pictures and weird, stupid shit until 2019. Then I got somebody to help me, and he. I stopped playing like anything extracurricular. No video games. No. Ch- I just yeah. started to learn how to edit. There we go. But like it's chopping. Like, it's like a video edit. game, right? It's I exactly like right? a video game except it's beneficial for me <laughs> you know yeah people are like, really video games? I'm like yeah i tell everybody why do you work so hard I'm like for fucking the reason you're watching it that shit took 22 fucking hours to film and edit right it's eight minutes long hey that's good have, that's be, a good ratio that's a really good ratio yeah, yeah my shit would be like 48 72 for like a 30 <sighs> second thing <laughs> damn i'm just filming the apartment though in my back room uh, until we got this spot a couple yeah, months ago beautiful beautiful thank spot. You, congratulations thank man. you thank you, you. Know what i mean it all pays off yeah end, it does it mean? does and then i met, I met marty and then yeah, marty's all no marty. i know how to edit and then he made our videos tv shows and that's the there rest is it that's it i do base uh skeleton i do a skeleton edit like i want this 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 it's 30 minutes long i give marty time stamps like here to here can you make it look like this here to here can you make it look like this oh, yeah and he runs it and we're done Amazing. Works great, dude. Got to get one of the Marty's. <laughs> find, find your twin brother. Marty needs fucking four himself. I know. Man. We all do. Oh, if we did, shit, we've been having fucking three videos out a week, oh, man. Right. But it's okay. In due time. In due time. Um, you know? The reason I want I want to bring something up. You and Marty have this wild ass off chance connection for the DJ Ski. That's why Marty's out here, too. Yeah. 
I don't know if you guys talked about it. Yeah, a but, little bit. Yeah, on the phone, yeah. Yeah. So you started out, and that's how you got the ski TV. Yeah, yeah. So I was running ski TV. I was the head of production. I mean, I was you know business partners with DJ Ski. DJ Ski was, I mean, he's a mastermind in marketing. That's, that's what the company actually was, was a marketing company. Although at the time I didn't understand that. So what we, what, what he would do and what we would do, we would shoot these videos for like new boys, you're a jerk. Um, basically new hot artists, Far East Movement, Fly Like a G6, these videos. That's that, your first big one? Um, no, I think, well, Dope Boys, Travis Barker and Game, I shot like right away. But as far as like the one that went number one, it might've been Soldier Boy, Turn My Swag On. Damn. Yeah, you've been in this for a minute. Yeah, it's either that one or New Boys Here, jerk, 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 Jerk. I remember when that all, came out. I remember all, what I was doing when that yeah, came out, Yeah, it's all around too. the same. Fly Like a G6, all around the same time. Um, but then we would take those views, and then we would go, you know, we would we'd take our analytics and go go show it to Dodge and stuff. But these people didn't know what the fuck was going on, because this was, you know, 20 years ago, like yeah. 10, 15 years ago, whatever. They just didn't understand. We're like, look, we get this many people, whatever. And uh, and so then we they, they would let us do little, little campaigns and stuff and so that's what we did you guys used the fuck out of that well yeah you used that shit to fucking segue into some shit i mean no, these are analytics yeah no we shot that video yeah want, want, want no, but, 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 but we premiered it on our channel so back we created vivo vivo was created because of us really because we we were premiering the videos we were like lyrical lemonade before lyrical lemonade I mean, we, whoa we were the if you I mean, we that's still the foundation the right there yeah we still have the videos up i mean on ski tv like um, I mean, maybe Interscope may take a couple of them down, but like we were premiering them. So, that, so then we could take our actual analytics from our channel. We were getting the subscribers. Fuck. And this is before, I mean, this is, this is, this is pre YouTube being huge. Yeah, too. I mean, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, doing it right now, that's insane. Yeah. We, we were one of the, we were the first, I mean, we were, we were the first like, um, like, MTV, but for YouTube. I mean, I don't know what that is now. Like, all, you know, if you're premiering, Gene, Genius, all those these things. Huge. Uh, Lyrical lemonade. Yeah, lyrical lemonade. It, but we're right. also doing like documentary. We're doing a bunch of content. You know what I mean? We were caught, like it wasn't just music videos. We were doing stuff for the NBA. We were doing you know. No, this is mad interesting. And, this is yeah, so NFL, fucking tight. And uh, and and Ski just had that that mastermind, you know. But um, and we ended up doing. We ended up teaming up with Karma Loop. I think in two thousand. Damn, yeah, right. Yeah. And, and we did the first music, first clickable music video with Ice Cube and his two sons. But you could, we did three of them. You could watch the video and then you could click on anything and just it would go that right. They into were wearing. Your, yeah, it'd go right into your shopping cart. But people, it was just too too ahead of its time. Whoa, I would do that shit now. It's just too ahead. That's of That's amazing. Yeah, it was too ahead of its time. I mean, this was almost eight nine so years ago. So you made a music video. And on the overlay graphic of it, they can cl have clickable links. Like say, everything, wearing anything, glasses, a absolutely. It, go to your cart. Yep. Yo, where's that at? It's where's that? No, where's that at right now? Like for every fucking thing in the world. I don't know. I'm with it. Yeah, Karma Loop. Whoa, no shit. Yeah. Wow, I used to buy everything off Karma Loop. You're right. And, uh, 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 what was it? Uh, come on, Doctor J's. Remember Doctor J's? It was like I was. I was. I was. I was horribly, horribly fast. Like I was. I had no style. <laughs> I, I had no style. Yeah, no style at all. <laughs> I used to wear that shit in high school. Oh yeah, my god, that. damn yeah! You just brought back some fucking memories. Yeah, right. Like so, it was. It, you know, that's that's kind of where our, my foundation, as far as professionally, lived on. And then ICM saw fly like a G six. They the one of the agents, um, he just really liked that video, and it reminded him of um, Smack My Bitch Up by Prodigy. And that was a badass video. So it was similar to that. Had that vibe. And then once I explained to him like the budget, the time restraints, kind of what we were under, and the way that I was able to shoot it and do things. I mean, at that time, Interscope didn't even want to show Far East Movement. Like they didn't want to show the band because you know they were like kind of like the first pop Asian group, and it yeah. wasn't really. They weren't sure if that was going to hinder or like you know deter or maybe make their growth bigger. They just didn't want to risk it. The first record. And I, I guess. Was like, I, guess I was like, I understand. Fuck that. I guess so. Nah, I was like, there. fuck that. So so we ended up shooting the video, and I ended up shooting like the stuff with them, first person POV stuff. So you did the exact opposite. Oh, you don't want to show them? Here's a fucking first person POV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. But I just intercut it with this really hot chick. So then it was cool. You know, oh, and gotcha. it was her POV the whole video. So so um uh, so that, so then he's you know he's like, hey, uh, you know, I'll start you know throwing you some scripts. You're gonna be represented by us as a feature film director. It's like cool. I didn't even know what ICM was. I called my dad. My dad was like, hey, Matt, uh, you know. I'm still your dad and you can call me for emotional things and whatever, but all this stuff is over my head as far as I don't really know what any of this stuff is and yeah. the contracts and stuff like get yourself a lawyer and, and yeah. that's it. And I didn't. No, you didn't? Did you get fucked? Ugh. You know, I'm still walking the limp. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Bad. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I mean, it's just part of the game. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't even, because, you know, when you're creative, you're not really. You're not into that. You're like, oh, no, no, you want me for the things in my brain? Cool. Don't fuck me over because I'm going to do good shit yeah, for nah, you. Yeah, no, and it's like, you know, you're my brother. You're my, you're my we're business partners. That sucks, man. I've been through yeah. three of those, so. 
What do you do? Totally though? feel it. I'm, you move on with stride and stride. And see, I and didn't for going. for a little while. Like, I stuck in that, and I was stuck, and then that kind of you know, it was a big chapter of my life. You know what I mean? Big chapter of my journey because um, I'm sure a lot of people go there, you know, or have been there, and it's like, what do you do? You can't blame the world because I could have got a lawyer. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I, it was on me. You know, it wasn't yeah. on them. Like they're businessmen. They're gonna make the best deal for themselves. That's what business is. And then you negotiate what's the best for you. Mm -hmm. And so I learned that. You know what I mean? And uh, and then now I'm good. Good, man. But damn. I know. Damn. So you got like one of your biggest things to start. It got you a huge opportunity. And then they go, no, nah, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Bigger, yeah. Oof. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's okay. Like I said, that's what But I happens. wouldn't be here, though. You yeah. Know you're I mean? here so, for a reason now. Absolutely. So yeah. when you file G6, right? Yeah. When you have the concept, what are you doing? Are you writing out the ex a whole, the whole yeah. video step-by-step -step storyboard? I did that. So my, my first music video with, with game, I, you know, fresh out of film school, maybe six months, whatever, you know, we learned how to write storyboards, scripts. I mean, we blocked the actors, all the rehearsals, everything. Right. So Damn. I, I showed up to, to, to a games video. Cause obviously it was the game featuring Travis Barker. I'm like, whole, oh, you know, Damn. but at the same time I'm ready to go. You know, we got two reds and we were the first, I was the first one to ever shoot a music video on the red. I think I was you know, ever that people, so people didn't know how to use the reds and, and all my buddies lived in that one apartment or one studio worked at a rental house and the rental house had just bought 30 of them. They were the only company, Whoa. they were the only place in LA you could get them, but they didn't know how to use them. So they were like, here, you young guys figure, figure this shit, shit out. out yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we had two reds that day, red ones. Okay. And, uh, I had a clipboard and a big old thing. And <laughs> my dad was there. My mom was there and games like, Hey, uh, so what do you want me to do? He didn't like me at all, but. At first, I mean, I'm, you know, five, five, one. Fuck, you know. you're not doing anything. I got, the, I got the clipboard. I mean, I got the clipboard, right? And then he goes, he, well, probably this is probably what he didn't like. He's like, what do you want me to do? I'm like, okay, did you not get the, uh, did you not get the uh, shot list? Oh. Did, uh, I'm like, okay, let's go here. Let's go to page 392. <laughs> did it like that? And I'm like, okay, so it says game enters from the left of the screen camera. And he's like, bro, where do you want me to stand? Yeah, and, simplify uh, that shit for me. Tell me what to do. It's so after that I realized, like, okay, I was like, oh. Simplify this shit for everyone. So that's when I stopped writing every single period. Oh, really? Time. Yeah. And do you, you're not winging shit, though. You, you have to have enough room in there, too, because you're going to have guys who come late. You're going to have guys who come early. You have guys who say, hey, I got to be out of here at this time. Or you're going to have the whole video get shut down because someone has a gun. Or um, For real? Oh, yeah. Uh, Celebration, the game with, uh, the game, the video with uh, Lil Wayne, Chris Brown, everything. We had a park couple pieces she got wrapped real quick because people got a gun that's it yeah you know I mean, the gun not when you're all in a like you know in, in at a barbecue like I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a video shoot you know what i mean okay. like okay. And it was a video shoot and we had cops obviously there because we, we blocked it all off i mean it was a huge it was a huge video it was like 200 grand so it was like damn it was like trailers and everything and then you got these dudes that you know just out there just wilding so gotcha alcohol so, so yeah the, is, um get shut down real quick <laughs> So you're done. What, can you come back tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, so they just stop it for the day? Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, you know, like, you got to get everybody out of there, make sure, like, it, things don't escalate. And uh, uh, So they're basically just trying to make sure nothing goes, pops off wild, come back later, kick these guys yeah, out. But, yeah, you still got to pay for the permits, got to pay for the cops, got to pay for, oh, I mean, you have your trailers there, uh, you have all your crew guys, which you're paying, you know, X amount of money for day their day rates. I mean, your food's already made, makeup's already on. Yeah, so. Yo, what a loss. I mean, not for bands. us. I mean, obviously. I know, I'm just in general. You know, it's, wow. it's probably, it was, that day was probably about a 50, 60 grand day. Ugh. Yeah. So sick, man. You're over here. Your dad's filming. You don't like it. You're over here doing huge music videos. What a difference. Yeah. I mean, Good shit. Yeah, you know, cool. you had to at least stand there and go, fuck yeah. At least once. At least yeah. that first time. Well, like, yeah, a couple times. I mean, when I was in like, so the thing was, I was really um, like progressive with social media. So, um you know, we met with Twitter when Twitter came out and, and we just, I remember, I remember flying to Vegas with, with ski and ski would tell me to bring an extra pair of clothes. And I was like, for what? And, and he'd be like, let's take a picture. And so we would post it when we weren't working. And that was like the Bow Wow challenge before the Bow Wow challenge. Uh, so that we always looked busy at our company. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even though we were laying in our beds or whatever. And I, I didn't understand, you know, understand, but then I got Makes it. Perfect sense. No, he's genius, genius. You know what I mean? So, so I was just really big on, on just pushing myself. So that, so that's when I, you know, it just, it was just all kind of came together, you know what I mean? And I learned, I learned a little bit of that, learned the filmmaking stuff. And, and I just, you know, yeah, looked around like, but you did this shit all by yourself. <laughs> I, I mean, not, all, no, and I'm saying you have help. I get it. I'm yeah. talking about 
the drive and the motivation to get oh. fucking played and kid up and keep doing it again. Oh, that's my. That's do it again, do absolutely. It again. I mean, that's perseverance. That's just um, resilience. I mean, that's, that's something that badass. Was, that was something that was instilled in me at a very young age. My dad used to point to that. See that guy right there? Yeah, he was a all star running back. And blah, 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 one, one knucklehead decision. Now he's, you know, sitting in front of McDonald's. Do you want to be like that? Uh, and I was like, I no. do it to my brother. I do that. <laughs> it works. It works. It works. And it I saw how hard works. my dad worked. I had a lot of fun in high school. I had, you know, they were always loving, supportive. I know I had a, I had a really good childhood. So, um, you know, I had every, I had every reason to, to, to succeed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so uh, what was I going to do? You know, but. Are um, you an only child? No, nah, I have one little sister. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, For some reason sister. I thought. Sound like you're the only child. No, nah, no. Nah, my sister, my sister was popping. She was a skater, like a pro skater. She, oh shit! Dude, and she was like, she's little, really little. But she was going down the the, the half pipes, and yeah, so that's why she got, you know, what? She was what crushing it, right it. now? No, nah, she doesn't skate no more. I mean, she's how old is she? Uh, thirty two. Oh, so this is a while ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is when we were in high school, like when I was in, you know, coming up. You know what I mean? She was a skater. She was badass, but she was, I mean, she was so little, you know, and she looked like a little, like a little boy because she cut her hair real short. She was like a tomboy. So she was popping. Sick. Yeah. And I made a little skate videos and stuff. Fuck. I mean, dude, that'd be a badass skate video. Right? I mean, dude, she was, I mean, she's little to this day. She still has, I mean, she's really little. She looks like a 16 year old. So it's super, it was Bro, really cool for skateboarding. skateboarding. No, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know? Oh yeah, she's flying. And then every, all the little flying. girls, all the little kids. Looking up to her like crazy. Just loved it. Yeah, yeah. Just could relate to her even though like she was, <laughs> you know, not their age, but they thought. So it was, yeah. it was really good for brands, you know. Oh, cool, cool, man. Yeah, super cool. Very cool. Your yeah. fucking parents had cool kids. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, were, they were great parents, you know what I mean? And so I think when you, when you put that attention towards your kids, which I think parents should do and, and need to do if they're going to have yeah. kids, you know what I mean? Then, you know, your kids are going to turn out all right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Of course. I fucking love it, dude. Um, I know I want to get too off topic, but no, let's go. Wherever. I mean, not even off topic. So you do the fly like a G six, the celebration one. I, I I was going through a bunch of shit, yeah, going yeah, through all, all your stuff. So how the fuck do you acquire such crazy clientele? Just from that one video, word of mouth, and people just loving it, or yeah. Also, how I does mean, that work? I mean, Ski was really connected, right? And so then we were, oh, true, true, and we true, were also true. a marketing company, so we were taking these and just kind of pitching them that way. And what we did, and I, I thank Ski once again because he's a mastermind, you know. So Ski was really good at hearing a bunch of records and being like, okay, we're, you know, Matt, which one do you like? Okay, we're gonna shoot these ones. I was like, okay, cool, we're gonna shoot those ones. But everyone that we and songs I didn't like, he was like, we're gonna shoot this song, and they were all hits. He knows though. So that that was, I mean, so we would take, you know, that as preference over budgets or anything like that because we didn't yeah. really care about the the small amount of money. We wanted the the look. We wanted the the views because at that time, like I said, this wasn't that's the, that's the foundation building block. Absolutely. And then we could go take this and the, you know we sold the Karma Loop for a lot of money, millions of dollars. We sold a small amount of our company too. So there was a lot of a lot of things bigger than just like the view or the the budget, the five, yeah. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars, and um and so that really propelled you know, me and us as, as a company and then stamped you. Yeah. Once I left there, um, I got rep by one of the biggest reps in, you know, in, in the music video industry and uh shout out to Taj. Taj brought me on. Um, he was over at, at, at a riveting and, um, he left riveting and, and, and I was with happy place, Tara Razavi and Jamie Conrabino, which were like producer and, uh, and music video rep extraordinaires. And so what do you just, mean music uh, video rep? What is that? It's like your representative. It's kind of uh, like um, of of people that make videos. Yeah, damn, it's so a it's whole like, it's other like, world. Yeah, it's like your agent at ICM. Yeah, but of music video directors. Yeah, I mean that's what they. Yeah, that's what they have out there. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. it was like that. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. So that's how you basically go. Hey, uh, Justin Bieber. We have Matt Alonzo here, and he's done this, 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 and this. Here's his work. Here goes. Yeah, take him. Kind yeah, of, let's hire him. Kind of, but it's more like I'm friends with uh, my commissioner. My my uh, music video rep is friends with you and your scooter or your, you know, the head of Interscope or you're the commissioner. Gotcha. And so, you know, so, it, and if they like your work, obviously, I mean, you have to, you, have to, you can't you be trash. Something, yeah. yeah, you can't be <laughs> trash. You know what I mean? It, um, but um, it's pretty much like that. And then also like the, they send solicitations out. Every record company has a, a, a person called the video commissioner. Their job is just to make sure that a video gets from A to Z done. That's their job. They have to like oversee it all, make sure that they can pick the director. They pick the idea, you know, they do everything. So um, that person sends that out to like 50 people, you know, 
all day, like, hey, you want to write this, want to write this. And so my, my agent would go through those and then select them for me. And then I would select them even more so. And then so we would just kind of. Oh, I see. It it's, was a whole. It was yeah. a whole. Dude, that's a lot of work that goes into a music video. Dude. It, Behind the scenes. It, holy shit. But, you know, the, the, the one part that's even kind of crazier is that you have to write an entire treatment. And you have to write, like, the idea, the script, all the pictures, everything, which takes a couple of days. I mean. <sighs> And then that's before you even get the job. That's just for you to throw it into the mix. And there's another 5, 10, 15, 50, 100 of those. Is that why you're saying some people have this treatment? It doesn't matter if it's Miley Cyrus or this or this or this. That's what they're doing. It's because they put so much time into that treatment? It doesn't matter because that's not going to get picked. Gotcha. Like it's not going to, it's just because they're stubborn and they don't understand the difference of brands yet. Like they don't, you know, because there was a time I looked at it from like what I wanted to do and stuff like that. But you know, Ski brought me back along or, or, or my rep and my other producer were like, okay, get with it you know yeah. what i mean so but i was always pretty good with that but a lot of kids they just don't understand what they're actually doing they just see the camera the ak and they want to be cool they want a picture and then they holding want, the camera yeah and then they yeah. want something that they want in their mind just for them not necessarily for so i tell them just make your passion project don't don't do it for a client that's yeah. what i enjoyed about film school is that i i got to get all my stuff out of my system without having to like be liable for it <laughs> yeah no i see although i did pay like a buck 20 for it so <laughs> Fuck it, it's the knowledge. Fuck it. But if you're saying it helped you 100%, then for me, shit was worth it, man. For me. And and one thing I, I, I always, one thing I'll say, if you want to go to film school, if you want to go to film school and you have like a passion to go to film school, go to film school because you're the one person who's going to actually do something with mm -hmm. that You're the one person. Yeah. And um, if, you, if you're if you questioning, don't go to film school. If because you have any you, doubts whatsoever. Because you, you might get through it, but you're just, it's a waste of money for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know? While you're working in a fucking office going, no, I can film you a whole video. Because before be, before they told us to go to college, like our parents would tell us to go to college, only only the people who went to college, the people who went to college were only the ones who wanted to go back in like the 60s and whatever. Mm -hmm. So they were the ones who wanted to go. That's why they were able to be successful. And then people were like, oh, if you want to, hey, kids, if you want to go to college, if, if be you want to be successful, you have to go to college. But it's like, no, if, you know, if you're, if you're going to be successful. Makes perfect sense. I know, but it's, it's just, it's unfortunate because there's. It's, it's pushed onto you. Oh, you're not going to college? You fucking piece right? of shit. That's right. the only reason I went. I didn't want to fucking go. You do five years. Oh. Did you play any ball? Not in college. So you, got, so you got two years left? You got four years of eligibility. To play football? Bro. So this is a guy named Mac, right? I know this guy named Mac. He played uh, Division One. Okay. I was a lineman, like, um. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not tall, I will fuck your day up. I don't give a fuck how strong you Ruined. are. It's leverage. It's leverage. Lights out. For real. So he was telling me, this is three years ago. He's like, no, I, I still chill with the Michigan State and we do drills because he's fucking 6'6", six, six, monster, offensive yes, lineman. Rah. Monster. But as I see fools like that. I'm like, fool, I get lower than you. I win. <laughs> he ain't shit. I'm short. Fuck you. Hey. I win. It, 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 but you're running back and shit. Like, that hey, was good Harbaugh. for you. Call Harbaugh. Man, get you back out there, bro. So... This is the thing. He's like, come with me. He's like, how old are you? You got this. You got this many years left. You can yeah. still go back for this, this, and this. Yeah, I go, got, wait, you got all your agility. So I was having dreams for like four months <laughs> that I was playing football again, and I wake up just straight sad as fuck. Like, no, no, I fucking, I had it. But then it got me thinking, yo, you're six fucking six. You're oh, benching yeah. four forty. Oh, yeah. You're going to pay for my broken legs? Nope. Oh no. Way. I don't think I want to play football. Yeah. I would love to, man. Oh right. my god, I would fucking love it, but I can't. I'll break something and I just can't risk that. Dude, yeah. And I, I, I understand that. They, they had alumni games where I'm from and uh, they had they have them like every five years and like every five years I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to play the next one. Wait, they let you, they let people come back? Alumni games, yeah. I know what that is. Alumni meaning like anybody who graduated can play. So there's a rival team and we actually played at Santa Barbara City College. They played the game at That's the place. mad dangerous. Dude, you got, you got 60, 60, 50 year old running backs. No, I don't know. That's the, full, full gear? Like, yeah, full, I mean, full on, bro. You get your you get your helmet from you know. Whoa. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's you know you got that one fun. dude from Napoleon, the uncle from Napoleon. How Dynamite. much you bet I can throw this football over that mountains? Dude, man, I, got, <laughs> that's my got, favorite part. You got a whole, you know, you got a whole squad of those dudes. You know what <laughs> oh I mean? shit, a bunch of fucking Al Bundys. And, you know, but they they ball out. You know what I mean? It, it looks fun, I, but I, yo, that sounds fucking awesome. I think about it. And I'm How like, the fuck do we get on that? You gotta go to the school. Oh, go to school. Sorry, <laughs> you buy you buy petition your high school for one. You know, say hey, what's up. Oh man, I have dreams like what that. Up? Back in school, Mike. Nah, they'll fuck me up. Hey, it's funny though because like a lot of people switch positions, so all of a sudden you're, you know, the the nose tackles getting the ball in the oh, back. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you know, now he's a running back. Oh no, I I, I uh, tried out for fuck in quarterback. 
won the position. They weighed me and said, you're a fucking lineman. <laughs> Two years in a row. I beat out my friend Justin for running back position. They weighed me. Go. This is all before high school, so you had to be weighed. Like, so oh, yeah, league. yeah, yeah. The little guys, right? I, pat, I beat every fucking person in every single tryout on the first day, and they go, you're fucking fat, though. Go, oh, man. But why would they weigh you? Because don't you just need to weigh for, I have to, to make the team? No, no, no. Uh, City League is you weigh before every game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. single game. But then, why, the, 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 I was always heavy, so fifth grade, I'm with his uh, oh, yeah, eighth yeah, graders. The, yeah, yeah, okay. It was not fun getting yeah. punk like that. That shit sucked. That shit sucked. But See, I, I got th- tough as fuck like th- that. That's good. That's good. I used to do junior lifeguards uh, in the summer. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I was, I, you know. I, in I, the I, ocean? Yeah, yeah. Like, because I lived right there. So, Whoa. but I did that just so I could stay. Oh, in cause, shape. Yeah, because I'd eat junk food all day. Oh, I'm sweet too. Like crazy. School, man. <laughs> no, even like younger, like when I played youth football, like, you know, what you're talking about. Like, my, da- my dad made me, like, you know, you, you, know, you want to play ball? You better be training like you're in the oh, NFL. Man, dude, my dad was not like that. I was I was on my fucking own with that shit. I was eating those uh, rollers from 7 Eleven, you know, those things on the fucking hot dog trays, the rollers oh, yeah. of chicken. Hey, those are- I used to eat those and go, but I got to weigh in. <laughs> Fuck. You know how many times I ran with a trash bag over my body? I was, gonna body? Say, right? I, I was, just I was that kid. Hey, we all did it. Yeah, though, I was that I mean? kid, man. Every Running up the game, hill? Every fucking game, full pads. I fucking hate it. Just give us, give us ten more pounds, motherfucker. I know. But I get crazy. it though. Little fucking kids that barely make the weight getting crushed. And then they also had high school kids who, like, maybe if you were a freshman and you you didn't be in JV and you could, play, but you didn't want to play, you could play for the eighth grade team. So that's why they had the weight. Yeah, absolutely. I had a couple of kids on my team. You got a small town if you're doing yeah. that. No, like a lot of a lot. I never heard that my whole life. Yeah, yeah, that's why they would weigh you. Like, you know what I mean? Wow. Because, because it doesn't make much sense once you get to the to the to the top tier of the, the yeah. little leagues right like after that it's like you should be a free-for-all but they have to do it because the, the kids come down you probably be, you probably played against or had one one kid two. had a full fucking beard yeah that's what i'm saying like you know are they, thought, went to like, discon- the uh, are they went to continuation school <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like you know, yeah could you imagine playing like a 19 year old kid <laughs> there was like a i think like a 16 year old on my team he was a fullback he was bad bro he was bad. Fullback's the scariest position. Yeah, Those he motherfuckers was, are tough. Yeah, he was bad. He wouldn't even wear a shirt or socks. <laughs> he was white guy. Yeah, but he like, I don't know. I don't know where he was from. He was a street dude. He was just street. He'd be smoking cigarettes, dude. <laughs> like bad news bears. Dude, he'd be shit. smoking cigarettes when like I remember one game he got kicked out. He just sat there and smoked a cigarette on the sideline. <laughs> Yo, Santa Barbara's the fucking place to be. Do you yeah, hear this over here? Ain't like, it ain't like that anymore, though. It's all fruit roll ups over there now. You know what, <laughs> what? I'm saying? You know, everybody's all, you know, soft now, so. <laughs> Fucking smoking vapes. Dude, it was crazy, <laughs> No more bro. cigs. Bro, he was just hitting menthols at, at 15 or whatever Damn. he was, bro. Yeah, I remember smoking Newports for a minute. Bro, on the sidelines with his pads on. That's fucking <laughs> preposterous, bro. Why isn't any coach just stop that? That's crazy. But you know what? Santa, hey. Santa Barbara, it's a different time. So he was a good kid. He just, you know, didn't have much family and just kind of didn't have much direction. So, yeah. I mean, keeping him on the field. Even if he got kicked out, just keeping him there was keeping him out of trouble. So. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't even think about that. Got kicked off the fucking game. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was not the best kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he just he threw a punch. Know. Yeah, you know. Hey, when, when you're not getting attention at home, you act out in other Lash ways. Out, you know what man. I mean? That's the one thing I wish, you know, teachers would realize. It's just like, yo, it's not a bad kid. He just needs some attention, man. Just tell the kid, good job once. Some, sometime. Something, you know what I mean? Yeah, just, we've just seen just the movies. In. It's always the case. It's always but, but seen people don't club. understand that though. You know what I mean? It's just it's unfortunate. I just, I study psychology a lot. I was going to do a documentary on mental health within Hollywood because oh. I mean, you have to be a little off to endure what I endure, and then to endure what like an artist or an actor or it's um, it's a whole nother life. You don't have your life no more. You don't have your life, and you go through so many downs that like most people would just be like, Nah, I'm going to work at Vons because I can mm-hmm. I can just have a. Oh yeah, there's been sometimes where so much pressure. Like I, I just I miss having a job and not having everybody no depend way. on me. No, I'm saying there's times where I think that like how much easier was life when you didn't have a million people going. Where the fuck's the shit at? Yeah. Where's the new shit? I'm just saying. Like, but you like that though. I don't. But you do. Don't fucking DM me that bullshit. Hey, but you do though, because I realized eventually, like I, I would, you know, no, I it's, get- for, it's for myself. Like, I don't want to let motherfuckers down that I know. are bored or sad at home. I know, I know. That's what it is. Not the people like, oh. where's our shit? <laughs> Fuck those people. But I'm, <laughs> but I'm saying all, all this sort of, like, you know, um, anxiety, all of it gets us hot. Like, it's going, you know what I mean? And, like, working at Bonds doesn't, there's no anxiety there. No, no, <laughs> it's, it's the it's the process of, because we have fucking four businesses, and sometimes I'm like, I need an assistant, because I have no time, and I'm hitting all, oh, these, yeah. all this shit all at once, doing this, doing that. There's like, okay, it's been a full day. Fuck, I haven't eaten. Exactly. You know I, mean? See, like, and I forgot. I've been eating today. You know what I mean? 
Oh, I did eat today. Sorry, I had to think if I ate today. Yeah, yeah. see, but what I'm saying is that most people, like my dad, he he was like, what are you doing? Like even to this day sometimes, he's kind of like, you sure you don't want to get a regular job? Because it just doesn't register to him. Well, I can never do it. I either could you can't I can't sit there and go, you know what I could be doing right now. But that's why that's why I realized like, okay, there's a certain breed, there's a certain, and I think it's ch- childhood sort of trauma or tra- child either th- the actual um, you know artist or actor or something. They've experienced something in their in their childhood that you know gives them this perseverance and this sort of resilience to get through these things to be able to to, to achieve the top. You see that? You know what I mean? Because if you if it's not like if it's not there, then you just you know you, there's no reason to endure that. Yeah. I totally understand that. You know, and so so I started studying mental health a lot, and I really started looking into all this stuff. And uh, and I was going to put together a documentary, started interviewing psychologists, and 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 I was going to run it so like all the artists that I've worked with, all the actors, and everybody do a sit down. Absolutely, because everybody. I mean, it's good because people think you're a celebrity, you're so fucking dude, rich, and you're all this. I'm like, no, you have no idea, I'm on the fuck. That's the part that that's the part that really got got me. Eventually, it was like people think perfect. I don't know what they think, and that you know, money, all that stuff, money, pressure. Fame, all that does is cause more of course mental health issues, but people don't 100%. see it that way. And that's the, the the thing that people get pissed off. I used to get pissed off a lot. Like, yo, you're famous. Just stop acting and be rich. That was my thing because I grew up poor as fuck. Yeah. So I'm like, you got money, you bitch. You know, I'll give me money. I'll take all the pressure. That's that's what's more of like, yo, just quit what you're doing if it fucks your life up and just keep the money. You made it. Yeah, that, that that's how I used to think. Yeah. But it's like, no, it's not as simple as that, man. It's not because I mean, if you stop, maybe thirty people around you have no more income. And I don't. I mean, it's not even yeah, that for sure. You know what I mean? But at the same time, hopefully, those are thirty people that are working with you, not just like, hey. No, you know I'm saying I mean? like, if you're the brand, I'm like, no, we do this, we do this, we do this agency, this, this, this. I'm talking about more of like, yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, I understand that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, uh, you know, they have that's their identity. It's like, you know, pe- that's our identity. It's really hard to, you know. And I'm looking at like people on even it's crazy know, level. Yeah, because at that point, like, they don't. I don't. I don't think you can't, uh, you can't step away as a fucking. But I don't think a yeah, Bieber or Chris Brown exactly. I, and I don't think a lot of them necessarily want to. To, to do it all the time you know what i mean mm-hmm. but um and, and it, it makes sense if you think about the times you're pressured and then think about okay times that by a thousand. Oh yeah absolutely <laughs> no i get why these people are freaking day. the fuck out every day all day go to the store and you don't know don't who to, to trust store. you don't know who to trust you don't oh know yeah who, i don't show nobody your friend nope. you don't know if that girl likes you for you or for you know and yeah. you know nothing at that point so it's like, kind of sad it is it's and so sad. and so I just wanted to show people and to let people know that hey you, you everybody's the same we we so that they can actually accept whatever it is they need to accept because their celebrity you know idol goes through what they go through and they can say mm-hmm. oh, okay cool as opposed to trying oh, to be course. but they don't relating to people that you've gone through the same shit is so much better than you think it is until mm-hmm. it happens to you and you go hold oh, well you did the same fucking thing how'd you get through it? so did i yeah and then you think okay if it's our to us too there's a million and that's why i can't really tell it like third party and so i was like okay i'm, I'm you know i got an investor for this documentary right before, right before it sounds COVID. great sounds well, great COVID hit and it was a it still it still sounds know. like something that nobody's done it'll help and it's informational absolutely i mean and i study i study i mean it's it's fascinating to me just uh personality disorders traumas uh, you know all these things that we experience and it's it's i don't know i mean it, it, you can pretty much you know count up a certain amount of things and kind of see how somebody's going to make their decisions mm-hmm. and so like a bucket like you've done this there and he fucked up things he's probably leaning this way. yeah yeah and so if you can identify those things within yourself then you're able to make you know be conscious of these subconscious choices that you normally would leave you here think about that like that That's and so now you can actually say oh um, you know try not to do these things yeah you know? yeah i check myself on stupid shit like why'd you do that you don't need to do that. Like, like I know what you're saying. You have, you have to check yourself and be embarrassed of your own actions when no one's around. Oh, that's that's, that's the, the most important. Most important. Like, yo, I drop trash. Now I pick it up when no one's around. Yeah, you have to. You have to I be pick able to. It what or what? Because if not, I'm a piece of shit. And who, who, who who sleeps with you? I mean, like you know, you go to sleep with yourself. You know what I mean? Like how how are you gonna sleep Dang. at night? Come this train, ride the train. Uh, is fucking going through the next building. Yeah, so I mean, that's just one thing I I really I really got into, and I just really wanted to like I just wanted to help people. Yeah. You know? Do you, especially right now? I know you're saying it's before COVID. Most important now. You know how many people just went fucking nuts this year? Well, I mean, th- so every seven minutes, a, a man commits suicide, and this was Damn. before COVID. This was before. Is it COVID. higher now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've been. I mean, and I, th- I think about the kids who like ate only ate at school, like the kids who got like the you know like the yeah lunch line right. Um, luckily, I would just like move, 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 would shake and grab a little bit of this, a little of that. But like 
if you're not at school, you're not eating at all. That's the first thing I thought about. If I was in this, what the fuck would I do at home? And if you had abusive parents or you have, you have anything like that, now you're with them all day, dude. It's it's that was my that's school my, was the escape sometimes. It, most of the time, getting out of the house for a lot of escape. for a lot of kids. Yeah. So like my house was like a, a spot where my dad just was open arms and anyone could spend the night. Bought people cleats, like whatever. He just you know food. That's tight. Whatever. What, dad, what did your dad do? He works for the city of Santa Barbara and now the city of Montecito. He just retired this weekend. So wow. shout out to Pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a, yeah, he has, you know, he's chilling now. So he's uh he actually wants to go and help young fathers, you know, like young, young men who are and I was trying to explain to him, it's a whole nother world out here, Dad. Completely different. It's you know, women married to and have kids to get the money. And he's like, I don't understand. I'm like, that's just the way it is nowadays. You have to just it's be an careful. occupation at this point. Absolutely. There's YouTube channels on it. Hi, welcome to oh. how to divorce your husband and get all the money, you know? And it's it's not something I like to say, but it's reality. You know yeah. what I mean? And so you have to be aware of it. And uh so hopefully he, you know, I'm trying to send him some videos and he That's just, awesome though. Yeah. But I think a hundred percent that project you want to do is something that need it's not even like you want to do it patch it, it, it needs to be done because no 100 percent. it's like a hi i'm kobe bryant you should drink sprite or what about this like hi i'm meek mill and sometimes i'm fucking depressed too motherfucker Absolutely. how do you deal with it exactly it's true because uh another thing is black males under like 40 or some shit it's like the most taboo thing is mental health absolutely because they're so, like they feel like a bitch talking about and it it's like, bro it, talk it, about it in our in the mexican community it's you like don't talk about that shit oh no it's like devils it's like yeah. it's all what do you to, mean you live here why like, are you sad it's all, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it, and it's it's not very like i was talking to my mom and jesus like no it's not even a thing and if you say it, anything it's it's sh- not even real yeah it's it's like what do you it, mean you're mexican you're immune to depression. and they do the they do like the the catholic type stuff and then prayers whatever whatever like it's just like it works but it's not even it's just like didn't talk about it you know mm-hmm. what i mean so but it's like that everywhere and like i said the higher you go the more either the more with it you are meaning like you have no friends you're very like in tune with yourself mm-hmm. uh or you're you know fucking on tmz yeah. going crazy there it is but then know? again man but it's it deserved a snap motherfucker you've been through a lot hey, of shit get me Get go me. for it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you know what it's I mean? fine. And, it, and it, it, I mean, for me, it doesn't. I mean, I don't. People will have their own journeys. I mean, now if you're going to do certain things to kids, are you going to, you know, act, you know, show your character and, and more than, you know, on repeated uh, times, like that's on you still. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But like, we all go through things, you know, the cancel culture and everything out right now. It's just, I don't even know if I want to do a mental health documentary. Got it. I'm just saying, I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> no, no one's going to get If they cancel you, they're going to be a 500 million people going, hey, that shit helped me. Hey, it's all good. Bill Burr didn't get canceled. So it yo, can't cancel you if you don't care. Yo, thank you. Bill Burr don't give a fuck. You think um, he even looked at the headline? Oh, no. Yeah, maybe just to write, get some more stuff to yeah, write. Down. Something to write. Yo, I love Bill I, Burr. I watched, I fucking love bill burr i just watched the thing about the grammys did you see it yeah, you see what it was, he said I mean, nothing nothing he doesn't know how to speak their language He's like this is lame i thought i was gonna meet some people here uh, yeah. all the feminists are mad all right, bye feminists have you watched that set it? have you watched that set it? have you watched any he of his say sets? dick or fuck you once oh fuck i mean dude the shit he said like you should never hit a woman i mean yeah we should let's dial that <laughs> back don't be so broad and it's completely true my mom taught me how to make a girl not hit me or hurt myself when i was yeah. four He's like, okay, but to say that there's no reason. There's no reason. So what if you walk in and she's drowning both of your kids? Yeah. Can you pop her? I mean, come on. He's like, I give you, I give you a hundred of them right now. And he's like, he's like, he's like, women. Uh, how many of you guys want to slap your man right now? And they're all like, yeah. You know, yeah. he's like, come on. You know, like, same with us. That, that's what I'm saying exactly. But it's just like he, he said so many. I mean, a period is is more than what he said on that that night. Yeah. I couldn't understand that at all. But. I didn't get it. I thought I was gonna see some shit. I watched the whole and, highlight. Went, dude. He had a live set like uh, two at? nights ago. Three nights ago. I missed it. Like it was right by my house. That, uh, uh, he does. He does an outside show with uh, like Theo Vaughn. I went to Theo Vaughn's. I went to Theo Vaughn's. That was cool. That so, fuck is funny as shit. Yeah, Jeremy Piven stopped by. I did a little Yo, surprise set. It was cool. Jeremy Piven was on Hotbox with Mike Tyson. I fucking love Jeremy Piven, and I saw him and went, "Good match, motherfucker." Because Jeremy Piven's funny as shit, and Mike Tyson doesn't talk as much. Yeah, so it's he a just good. Gets really fucked up. Because oh yeah, Mike Tyson. My Wasn't he on Shrooms crazy. last time or something? Last time I, when I love watched, he was Mike like, Tyson, bro. He's, he's like, like a, a pit bull that just in. redid their life. No, 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 no. no. Let's get high together. Amazing, and the stories that he yes. tells, man, like about his childhood robbing They're and like fucked the up. I mean, fucked up. I mean, talk about trauma and mental health and everything. That's the example of it. And it's like, and, and he's getting people going, no, 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 fucking fight him, kill him. Dude, like, when he said that he would shit. fight just so that people would like him or love him, and sad. that was like, that's when I was like, man, you know, it's just on a whole nother level that, that mm-hmm. I could never relate to on that level. But it just shows you like, 
there's kids out there that are hurting that are going to become adults. You know what I mean? So knock your ass out, <laughs> knock your ass out, or, or ruin their lives. You know what yeah. I mean? Luckily, he's able to bounce back, and I like that. I mean, Such a cool turnaround. It's I'm, the biggest biggest turnaround in any celebrity I've ever seen. Amazing. I mean, it's, it's fucking it's awesome. awesome. It's awesome. His podcast. I mean, he's fighting Ho- Holyfield. They just announced it. Like, Wait, what? Yeah, third fight. Just announced it. So, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yo, I watched the, the Holyfield and Mike Tyson uh, hot boxing. I had no idea the backstory yeah. of those two. Really? I didn't know they knew each other like that. They bit his ear off. No, I knew that. I'm talking about when they were kids. Oh yeah, when yeah, they were in the said, tournament. That, like, yeah, the wow. tournament. Yeah, yeah. I watched that one. So you knew the motherfucker first, and then you bit his fucking ear yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. You were a monster. Yeah. I was on 21st Street playing water balloons, and I heard everybody start screaming. And I ran in, and he's just bleeding. He was he was doing this and like stomping his feet or some shit. Oh man, I'll, I'll never forget that. I shit. totally forgot I listened to that. The one with that was him a good and, one. Him and, that was yeah, good. That was good. Man. That was good. That was good. Um, that was real good. So yeah, damn, we went mad off topic, but Way it's all topic. good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, <laughs> I wanted to bring something up. You said you got uh the rep and you know DJ has the connections, but yeah, how the fuck are you doing Justin Bieber shit like that? When does it come around to where you're doing? Like Chris Brown, Justin, because those are those are those are music videos. I get it; they're music videos, but those are also Michael Jackson status shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, maybe because I didn't look at it necessarily like that. No, like, no, I don't mean it like. Yeah, no, you're I, I there get like, it. Oh shit, no, Justin no, I Bieber. Yeah, that's nah, not what I because mean. I was just like, yo, what up? Yeah, what's up, dude? You Justin Bieber, yeah, 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 nice. I mean, the more the more normal you are, the like the more the better. No, yeah, I'm, right. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say like, oh, why are you are you not fanning out? No, no, fuck no, that no. shit. I mean, dude, I'm, I did one time. It was a boxer, but we'll we'll get to that. Well, I mean, we don't have to get to that, but um. It was just the natural progression. I mean, you can only go exactly. I'm saying so. After you're getting this one, you're doing this, you're yeah. doing this, and now they're like, okay, here's another level. Yeah, you're 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 stamped. You can come in. So like when I went to the my rep and this other producer, they they set a cap for me because before that with Ski, we weren't really worried about the budget. So we were more worried about just making sure that the song was going to be you know big and and um, you're working with a different brain too, a music brain too, dude. I what I, the thing was like I had nobody to help me at all. Like I was just a little lost pup. I went to film school. I'm in a marketing company doing music videos. I have nobody there to mentor me, to tell me anything. I didn't even know how to write a treatment. I didn't know how to write budgets as far as for music videos. I yeah. knew nothing, you know what I mean? And, and that was kind of hard. So, um, and so I totally forgot where I was going with No, you're saying in the natural progression of going. Yeah, so, oh, oh, so they set a cap for me. They, once, I grad, once I got out of there, they said, hey, look, you're not going to take another video until it's $50,000. And I was like, yeah. No, I was I was flipping wait. out because I'm at like, fifty thousand dollars. Like I like that's, wait, like I might not do a you video. Get paid? Yeah, well, like the budget. Oh, the budget. I yeah. thought you meant like we're gonna get fifty k to film them. Like, no, nah, they were. Yeah, no, but they were like because like my budgets were like t- twenty, like Martians vs Goblins with the game and Tyler the Creator and stuff like that was like twenty twenty five. So they were like, look, you know, we're gonna set a cap for you. We're gonna basically, you know, raise your stock up. And I didn't understand it at the time. I was young, and I'm like, I'm never gonna work again. You know, I don't like, know you will. Different. Six different. months. Uh, six months. Nothing for like six months. I mean, because because they they I mean stuff came in, but it was all underneath that, and so eventually, you know, got to yeah. a certain point, and then, you know, like, yeah, we just ran it up. You know what I mean? And and they just took care of like production, and and repping me. So like, I just had to take care of be my, the creative. Yeah. And so that's when that's, what, that's what everybody needs, man. That's when you run it up, you know. Yeah, no time to fucking think of all the other bullshit. Just let me get my shit done. Yeah, I mean, you know, it comes with its cost and, and rewards, you know, and you have to weigh it out which one's best for you. And then it just got to a point where I just got tired of writing, man, because I was writing on so much stuff, and you don't get everything. You might write thirty treatments and get two or three or five. Damn. You know what I mean? And you don't have to write, but if you don't write, you're you definitely not getting the job. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? You're not. So, pre- you're not prepared. It, well, not even that. Like, if it doesn't cross their desk, they're not. You're not even in the mix. Oh, gosh. It's not like, yo, I have an idea. Let's have lunch. No, no, no. It's like, hey, you know, hey, everybody. Uh, here, Hey, all directors. Here's a song. To whom may concern. Do you like shit. it? Yeah. But and so my, my agent would like weed it down, you know, and she'd say, do you like this? And I said, yeah, how many people are writing on it? And then she would call the actual commissioner and say, how many people? And then if the budget was low, she would be like, Matt will write, but only if he's the only one writing. Gotcha. But that, you know, so. But it just got tiring, oh, there's so man. so much stuff in the back of these fucking videos, man. You don't think... They're oh. mini movies. Oh, absolutely. Wow. I mean, you're talking like prep days, full crews. I mean, uh, grip trucks. I mean, everything. Yeah. You know? What's the biggest... What's the most biggest budget you had to do for a video? What, what, what is that? What does that look that like? Was like? That was the, the celebration when I was saying earlier. Because Chris Brown, Tyga, Lil Wayne, Wiz, and Game. And that one was like 220 on just That's production crazy, end. That's crazy. We shot like three days. Three days, one, you know, and thirty people on the crew. More, more than that. What the? Yeah. And we had two, you know, we had two cameras, two, two, um, like 
you know, like the cranes. A and a B. Yeah, we had we had techno crane and everything. I did my first thing I ever did. I did a commercial for this company. Get a crane, get a crane. And I walked. There was a crane, and I walked in, and my part was a guy that sells weed and pizza oh. from his pizza delivery car. I'm like, yo, did you guys write this shit for me? Because that's exactly what the fuck I did through fucking yeah. college. <laughs> and uh, just seeing people taking things off of a house. Like, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Here's oh, yeah. the temperature here, dude. No, you're off. You're off. And then they're on speakers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the director's like, no, that's I don't the, like it. It's too hot. Yeah, He's yeah. hot. Put it back. Like, it's yep. the best thing I ever did. Lock I just, it down. Lock it down. Lock yep. it down. Lock it down. I learned my lines. Walked out. Walked in. Bomb. Never here comes have talent. I had here comes talent. Fun. Here comes talent. Yes. Thirsty. Thirsty. Shh. Quite on set. It was wild. Well, they had a. Uh, a chef that was making medicated food, right, right. It's awesome. which is really bad because everybody got fucked up. I never had that, but I mean, I've had a chef like it was. It was. Cool. I've never experienced anything more than me at my house, like filming, vlogging, doing shit. Yeah. And yeah, it's getting a lot of like looks and yeah, yeah, yeah. But having people there, like, no, I do lights, I do sound. Sometimes I had a sound guy. It's like, how much easier is this? Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it was, it's, it's well for me. Like for me, as the person walking in, I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. But you, that's the hardest thing you could do. Yeah. You have to now. Worry about fifty people, and that's that's another half like half of the job that you don't see on Instagram just with the picture. You know what I mean? And that's that's a big part of your job. I mean, there's so much communication, it it. communication, learning how to communicate. So if you don't know how to communicate, you're not emotionally intelligent. You study that. You know what I mean? Because you, <laughs> you have an idea. You, not only do you need to communicate it to yourself and get it out on a piece of paper, now you need to take this and then give it to each group or each. You know, you're the lighting guy. I need to give it to you in the way that you're going to understand it. Yeah. So that you can give me what I'm asking for. So you have a crew, a certain people, like I've worked with you five times, all five times you're bomb, sometimes, got you. Sometimes, and sometimes I bring in a new guy, like, yo, I like this this, this video, let's bring him in, or the agent would say, hey, or, or somebody would say, hey, I just, a lot of times I'll give like uh, younger kids who who are kind of coming up, you know, an opportunity, and because a lot of them will buy cameras instead of going to film school, they'll have a red camera for forty five, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, and they can't get on set, you know what I mean? And so I've, I've done that several times, you know, or like, okay, cool, you know, um, but I still need to communicate to them and communicate to them in a way that, they can get it and it resonates yeah, like said, to them, you know, get because, it back to you. Yeah. Cause I can't, you know, and so you're, you're teaching six different people what you want. Yeah. 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 That's a job. Yeah. And that, no one thinks about that. There's no, no, there's, it's, no there's so much. There's no tutorials. There's well, a, I saw the director doing our commercial thing. I'm sitting there like, yo, I mean, most of your work is done. Things. That's probably the AD. I'm not sure. The one that's like, like moving around running. Oh, ready, he, he ready, was ready, sending him off. He was sending him off and the director yeah, sitting the, there with his pad. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, start over. Yep. Too high. And yeah. yeah, yeah, and I don't even say action. I let my, you know, I'll say this will, and he'll say action. See, I'll, I'll, say action. It's so bomb. Yeah, it's so because it makes your life easier knowing like you can handle. It's like a fucking uh, ant, ant farm and shit. Like, no, we have these people that do this yeah. and they're set. I'm the fucking, I'm the queen of the fucking thing. But if you don't have the, if you don't have the clarity or the communication skills, it's a disaster. Oh, I can imagine. And like my early videos, I thought people knew what I was thinking. Like, why aren't you moving the light? Gotcha. And they're like, but then, but then you think, why don't you know to move the light? Yeah, you should be fucking on it. And then you think they don't know what I want. No, nah, I didn't think that for like a couple of videos. I was just like, oh, what the frustrating. Grab bro. the light. I'm grabbing the light. I'm all pissed off. The guys were like, fuck it. Go ahead. Do my job. I got paid yeah, already. Do what you got to do, bro. Yep. You know? Damn. And that was that was not you know that was well you, know, you learned man. Yeah, of course you, you have learned. to learn. You have to come you in know? and realize that lighting guys are kind of like this. Everybody Sound like guys you know, are weird or this or this. It doesn't even matter. It's your job to communicate yeah. to everybody. You know because they don't know what it is that dude. So much is going into these thinking. things, and I can't, I've never thought about it in the terms of you, your role of. No, I got fifty jobs. I just have the most important right here. You're important here. To make sure what I communicate to you is being done. You're the president. I mean, you're the you're the oversee. I mean, you're you're the foreman. You're you're basically you know supervisor. So damn, dude, when you do a movie one day, oh yeah, whoa, that's yeah. gonna be but see, crazy. A lot of that stuff is done already in pre production. You know, like you're you've already storyboarded, you've already scouted, you've already built your sets, you've already ran through uh, computer generated shots or whatever it is that you need to do, and so. You know, you send away your actors with their stuff and uh, you give them their backstory, give them their psychology. You need to understand psychology to be able to get what you want out of the actors because you don't tell them to kick in the door a certain way when they rob the bank. You tell them how they had no money when they were five years old or two years old. Yeah, in this scene, you're this guy. You just got dumped. You're just doing this. And then they're trying to bring out the emotion of the act. So Yo, you tell the them, director has so many jobs. Yeah, so you got to tell you. And sometimes wow. sometimes the directors won't even talk to that to the talent just to get them pissed off. And so that they can give us that, you know what I mean? They think really? a dick. Oh, absolutely, all the time. You do whatever. It's 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 you know. There's little there's little things that these directors probably have. I'm like, no, 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 no watch things. this, watch this. Yeah, but but I mean, at the same time, you have to be conscious of it. And a lot of people aren't. They're over here worrying about 8K. 
It goes back full circle to earlier, man. I'm just saying, was, I'm just no, saying you know? I, you, that's why I study speak, psychology. Yeah, you're you know? speaking to, it's more than, uh, how many followers you got? What, what, what are you shooting in? Well, it's the, more than the that. The followers do help you get No, jobs. I'm saying it doesn't help you in no. the fact of being a badass. No, it makes you look like more of an idiot if you have a yeah. huge following. And, then and you, you don't you, know shit. Yeah, and you got, you got a talented actor there going, or your crew's going, hey, are you just brought in this DP or this, you know, this camera guy or whatever, you know, to come work with you. Finally, you got a budget and you don't know a thing. You know, you over here sound like a, you know, schoolgirl. Damn. It sucks. You know what I mean? It does suck. But it, but it sucks that they're not open. And I hope that, you know, some people will listen to this and open up a little bit more. I mean, dude, if if this was five years ago and I watched this exact thing, I would have had a whole different outlook on what to do. And action. for sure. Exactly. I mean, it just depends on what the overall goal is, though. You know Well, no, I mean? no. Your mindset on the back behind the scenes to what what you said earlier you're trying to manipulate people's feeling and then bring it out that's yeah five years ago that would have fucking whether completely you're changed my whether shit. you're vlogging or you're you're doing anything you're, mm-hmm. you're a brand obviously like you said earlier yeah, you know I, totally totally yeah, agree with leaves, that. Like, yeah it's a uh, you know um and you're 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 doing everything i mean you're you're that's that's your job if you pick up a camera that's what you're doing yeah even like, if you're taking a picture of your friend yep you're trying to make them look the best they can, right? You're trying to manipulate that scene a little bit, mm-hmm. right? And if you're a good friend anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. So like when I'm vlogging myself or something, I know people ask all the time, but when I'm vlogging myself, everything in my background is deliberate. Everything behind me is deliberate. Right. The way I start off my words is deliberate because it's how to, how am I going to make you, because I always say like, how do I, how do I make the audience feel this? And then right away start smiling. That's good. That's that's, you know? that's what I learned. I mean, you, you you learned what I learned for for 120. You learned for, <laughs> for 100. <laughs> uh, bro, I probably spent so much money just <laughs> making videos out of pocket. And shit. I mean, hey, that's that's the it's fun process. Part, it yeah, was the, absolutely the last 10 years been bomb. Yeah, it's absolutely. been fun. As but, that, fun. but that's a lot. I mean, you're 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 right with me. Like, there, there's a lot of people who don't even look at that. And I go, no, you realize like the green there is painted green for a reason the director put, picked that you know what i mean or the production designer they, that's that means something in the movie in the mo- oh yeah when i'm watching shit, i'm just, just breaking shit down but people don't know they go no it's just a coca-cola no it's like, not dude. motherfucker because earlier then, that fool was hot was holding that shit blah 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 and, and, it and comes it's back. also it's also about like you know market if you want to get money in because like a, you know we're, we're artists and and it's some some of the art that we we, we create we want to make a little bit of money or we want to have more money for our project so you need to know where things are at so that you can uh, replace that Seven Up with the Coca Cola, or mm-hmm. if they're gonna pay for it. I mean, obviously there's. Oh, I'm Coca-Cola. conscious for all that shit because it makes I mean, it we, makes sense. We were the first ones to, to bring uh, Beast by Dre into into the. Into you the, guys did that. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, we started. That's that. in every fucking video yeah. ever made. Yeah. No, uh, the Dope Boys, um, Travis Barker game was the first one. They had they brought it in like a case. I was like handcuffed. Because because only pair out. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And then we put it in Far East Movement and everything after that. Damn Far East Movement. Yo, those fools were. Massive. Oh yeah, those are, those are my homies, man. Like shout out to them. Like they're Massive, super dope. Okay, well, I think one of the first times yeah. I ever heard them was this fly guy. like a G six. Yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, they had a couple. Every I almost s- bought a G six in college. The uh the 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 car, it was called a G six, and I was like, yo, is it more expensive because of this fucking song came out? That's yo, crazy. trying to buy a car in college, don't do it. Don't buy a new car ever ever in your fucking nah, life. Don't college. absolutely not. Absolutely not. Save that money. You know All bad, I mean? dude. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, like I said, I was going through everything. Astonishing ass number. I just want to make sure. Out of all the videos you've done, uh, yeah. accumulative ten bil- billion fucking views. Bro. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, like th- that's unfucking. I probably say more than that. That's ridiculous, man. Yeah. That's just. I mean, I mean, I've done like five. I mean, I've done a lot of work. I mean, from the you know all sides of the spectrum. So it's just. Uh, it's not like yo, I'm fucking tight. It's more of people have watched the shit i thought in my brain it came out how i wanted it 10 billion times yeah no, it's, it, yeah it, it, it doesn't make you feel like fucking sick nah, but it's nah, more nah. like thanks yeah yeah i mean I, I put my work in i mean it wasn't easy you know and i worked seven days a week for 10 years so like it's cool to that's see what it. you get yeah. that's what you get when it's you put cool, that work man. in you know it, so I, it's just it's 
like I know you probably do it. You go back like that was six months ago when that video came out. Damn, I remember when I was posting or I was getting it ready and going, ah, it's going to be sick. And then you go back and go, do you, do you think like that? Like in, yeah. in phases? Yeah, absolutely. I like, mean, it's all project. Yeah, it, I go based, by right? what I did in that month. Yeah. Go, that was a February month. Oh, all right. I remember Sometimes the video. it feels like it's right there. And like it was yeah. like yesterday. Like, no, it was two years ago. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. I do that every day of my like, life. Damn. You know like, what I mean? And but I look, yeah. I'm like, at least I look the same. Yeah, Fuck. I know. Shout out. To, shout out. To, I mean, there must be something in, in the. Uh, entertainment or in the video it's the we do that's true it's the we held man i'm that's telling true, man. you I, me- I remember when i shot with uh you know i'm really good friends with like uh, b real cypress hill Demrick, mm-hmm. all these guys so i remember oh sh- Demrick, yeah, yeah i fuck with him yeah Demrick's my boy like he's my roommate he's the one who introduced me to the to the, my, the, the crew fuck out of here no Dem- i mean i do i mean he was my roommate for like a you know you know i years? probably met you before then bro. oh yeah bro like i mean i've been to the studio with Demrick a couple times I at mean, the like, studio he was at what, i've been to a few with x i mean was it was exhibits or uh, it was at the yeah that's where uh First time I ever drank Hennessy. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's really sp- at, I went to Iraq with him. Damn. Me, me and Exhibit in, in Denver. I mean, I've known it. He was the one who introduced me to that other crew that I was telling you about earlier. In the studio? When I was a director and he was, in, and there was a rapper that introduced me to the guys who were. Oh, sitting, that's Denver. Yeah, that was when I first got here. Before, Get the fuck right out when of I here. met Ski. Yeah. Uh, I started fucking with him and Dizzy. Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy's and my Mike. guy. Yeah. I did, I did all the last videos. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, this is my homie. I, I fuck yeah, with him heavy. Yeah, yeah, He's no, tight. Yeah, good um, people, really good people. Yeah, every everybody in the still moving shit is fucking tight. Yeah, man. Everybody. I mean, yeah. Yeah, hot, like he. Uh, I didn't know he didn't smoke weed, and I brought I I invited them either. to a weed event. And I was here trying to pass hops in these Wait, joints. Wait, he doesn't. I didn't know that. smoke weed, bro. I didn't know that. I tried to pass to him like five times, kept forgetting. He goes, oh, I don't smoke. Wow. You smoke fucking weed. You're with Dizzy. All right, you're at a weed event. Like, Wait, oh, when did you, you meet Demrick in, in? Um, like 2014. Where Where at? Or how? Um. Just the weed shit. Okay. I think I met him through the weed shit. Yeah, yeah, I met yeah. Dizzy. Uh, you always do like shops and shit too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I just do so much social media. I get deleted. I'm, uh, I'm on my 23rd account, man. Yeah, yeah. I get yeah. deleted all I know, the fucking I saw time. the last video. You were like, oh, get 20,000 and got deleted. Oh, that one. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was just one a- day. <laughs> Fuck it. Dude. It's okay. But yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Big flex. Bro, it's just, it's, it's, that's, un- that's fire, it's unreal, man. See, for me, I all the videos that I did were for other people. So, like, mm-hmm. I never, and anytime I got to my own shit, I'd be like, Dude, I'm so tired by this point. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to be like, hi, welcome to Metal Alonzo. You know what I mean? I'm like, mm-hmm. dude, I do it for my friends. I'll do it for their YouTubes and stuff. Yeah. So people are like, you don't have this much views. I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm not on my own fucking YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> exactly. Um, like you would know me by now. Like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like I'd be everywhere, you know, but. Yeah, but the, f- like f- that 40 seconds where you're talking about the connection of how to bring it out. Bro, that's the shit people need. We didn't need to have any of this other conversation, just no. like 40. Yeah, that 40 seconds, seconds was like. So if you're going to listen to anything. Yeah, I'll put a timestamp that says, fuck the rest of this. Just <laughs> this <part." laughs> no, but for real, doing? that shit for me, when I was, if I was 22 again, I heard that, I would have been progressing faster. I hopefully, hopefully it. Uh, I hope, it, I hope motherfuckers out there take that into consideration. Is You just got knowledge dropped on your head so fucking hard. I, you know. I love it, man. No, I, I sincere, it's, it's like. It's there. It's something I'm going to remember later. I try. I I've like tr- that. I've tried to, uh, you know, to, to get it out plenty of different ways. I did a master class, you know, I tried to hammer. Oh, it. like where you're teaching people? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Nice. Um, yeah, I've done it. I've done it all, you know. So I, I did I did a couple of them. I did one for a, co- a lighting company. We had people driving from Mexico. We had people driving from Iowa. And I'm like, wow, I'm walking in this thing going, and there's a line all the way outside, you know, and I'm like, damn. It, I'm telling you, there's a lot of use out there that don't have their direction yet and in five years they're gonna go no no, no i watched the the man alonzo i went to his master class and it fucking steered like like a fucking marty did uh what was it that oh, yeah, changed your it? shit changed your uh what'd you do that you you went to a class oh peter mc you watched the, the peter oh, mckinnon peter. yeah i started going ham just watching youtube but then it was the full-time film full-time filmmaker sorry oh, yeah. that's yeah, what yeah, it's yeah. called that's what it's called yeah yeah, yeah. that see, one little dude what's his name what's his name parker parker yeah 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 but you see what i'm saying like if you didn't have that you would have it would have delayed you five years, four years. Easy. See, but this show, this podcast right now, that yeah. might help out some 15 year old. Absolutely. That, I hope it does. That dad was recording his shit. That's why I was like, that's why I come on there's here. There's so you know much. I mean? Yeah. There's so much that you could just existing help out somebody that you didn't even realize. I tried to I do the Parker thing. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. It's just cool, man. I couldn't do it consistently. Like, you know? Yeah. But you also, you got to remember your brand is how, what you could do and make other people look. Yeah. That's what, that, that's and, what I've realized. Yeah. You know If what you mean? had three of you, yeah, you can make your own YouTube. Yeah, you can do these master classes I, I every fucking week. I, I tell people like, yo, it just, just doesn't it doesn't work, man. 
It doesn't it doesn't work for what you need to do to stay on the top and keep going, keep just going, keep going. For where I'm at, you know, I don't even, I don't even worry so much about the top. Like, I no, just I'm talking be, about like on yeah, no, on top of my shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, yeah. And so you, you you know you rediscover that as you as you continue going mm-hmm. on, and uh, you know I'm happy to be here with you right now. This is the top top of uh top of the mountain man and uh, appreciate i'm excited that. i'm excited for you know everything you have coming up you know what i mean and i'm, like, I'm uh, stuck this year's been sick as i know fuck. i, 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 I heard just, about that i was like okay it's rolling man that's good it's man it's, that's really good because this time has like really created a you know a, a really really strong lane for for some you know what i mean mm-hmm. and if you're capitalizing on you're running bro yeah and that's you know like it's you have all eyes on you. Like you, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people watching content you know what I mean? Like the, mm-hmm. the, the numbers are just going up. So, yes. And so like you guys did it perfect timing. You were ready to go. You're already a professional. You got the man, the myth, the legend over here, just, yep. just running numbers. I'm, I'm fucking making it work. Dude. And that's just like, that's, I mean, the timing couldn't be better. You know what I mean? So it's all, it just goes to show like all that work was, it's not for nothing. All those years of struggling working at U-Haul was not for nothing. Right. And that's, and it, Anybody out there listening, if you can endure those, just endure that. You have to. But you have to have a vision, though. You can't just mm-hmm. endure it for nothing. Don't mm-hmm. endure it for the likes or endure it for the picture. Because mm-hmm. you can go get it. Come on my set, I'll give you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You go back to your job. And you, just, you know what I mean? Yeah. It ain't worth it, you know? No, no. It's, it's if you can hold on that long and be broke. I have been fucking broke. Oh, dude. But, I mean, I was making so much fucking money selling packs. And then I went to, yeah, I can I'm good. That. I'm going to send you to my friend. And then I'm watching. Ten thousand dollars a week go away. Like, uh, uh, I mean, how those prices? Uh, how have the prices changed? They are what I wish I had back when I was selling weed. The prices really? right now. All right, check this out. For everyone out there listening, fuck you if you're one of these people. <laughs> so, I don't sell weed no more. I know everybody in this industry. I know the black market people. Yeah. I know all. I mean, I used to sell drugs. The prices when when everybody had no money during COVID and mm. they had no job, drug dealers decided to tax more. Mm packs that i was getting for 32 yeah yeah can you take can you want to take a guess how much they were at the no, end of this year no seven five no. seventy five hundred dollars for one pound of fucking weed what? in california it made me so i sincerely stopped supporting certain growers after i heard their fucking price that's to the streets or to the to, to the, the street wow. 10 bands right now for the same pack <sighs> if you want it at all after retail Are you st- Ten fucking thousand dollars. My homie's paying eight k for every pack. He's rich, but even three two though is. I mean, that's a, even thirty two is high. That's pretty. As fuck. I'm like, you got to be shipping shit if you're buying at eight. You can't. You dude, cannot. That, you can't make any money. I'm so glad I stopped selling weed when I did though. Dude, you got to be shipping like. You have to be shipping at least two. To like, but if you're getting them for seven five, you just make five bands on two pounds. If you shipped it and if it didn't get there or not, you got your money. Oh uh, yeah, I mean yeah. Doesn't but matter. Still though. Yeah, people are desperate too because they. <sighs> They, they got no money right now. Damn. So it's like, we started What about smoking. them stimmies? That's a fucking QP. <laughs> <laughs> That's an ounce right now. Oh, <laughs> a couple man. blunts. I mean, me personally, oh, I paid 500 man. American dollars for an ounce last month. Fuck. It was fire. But I had to try this certain brand from a certain grower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after I smoked, I go, this is some of the best we ever smoked. I'll pay 300 bucks. That's, yeah. After that, you can suck my dick yeah, right? for a $500 fucking ounce. What? I'm not in New York. Dude, I mean, yeah. yeah That's you're, it. You're a connoisseur. You're, yeah, a, you know, you're, for me, I'm a, I'm a, I've just been a weed smoker. As long as it's like, you know, not some trash dirt that like you're just like mm-hmm. stomping on and you're putting it into a butt. <laughs> yeah. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I, cool, I wish, you know? I wish I could like, it's just, it's just. Nah, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. You know I wish I, mean? I could. Just, I got a lung infection like five years ago and certain, we just <sighs> fucked infection. me up. I was smoking weed that mold inside Bud Rot. Wow. I didn't know, but I'll say, I, I, I didn't even know weed could get mold. Oh, yeah. You ever see furry shit on your weed? Yeah, throw I thought that, that was just the crystals. Throw that shit away. I thought that was just the crystals. Nope, you see it getting bro, brown and yellow. Bro, look at that yellow. shit, bro. Nope. That's how people get lung infections. Damn. Yeah, bro. that shit's serious. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't. I had to go to the doctor for like six months straight. Wow. Like, it really hurt. I couldn't And that's I could common. It sounds like smoke. it's pretty common. Yeah, I had it five years ago, and I've never been the same and since. And how does the weed, I mean, how does it get moldy? I mean, just the-, the, uh, the Moisture, the moisture uh, being right? in a bag. Yeah, uh, maybe yeah, you yeah. had spider mites. Maybe you uh, you sprayed it with something, and it just molded oh, over time. damn. You left it out. My mom my mom be smoking weed she found, like, five years ago. Like, I found this little nug. I'm like, I know. I got to tell her. Like, Yo. it's, it's serious, though. No, I know. I, I, I get it. It's serious. It's serious. You it, got to be careful of that. I got to do a fucking video on that shit. Yeah, absolutely. I'm like, that's a. I've never heard of that It's called PM, powder mold. Never heard of Powder it. Powder mildew. Never heard it's of it. Is that just deadly. Like, is that new? Or is that something that's always been around since? Ever? People just thought it was frost. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was like, dude, just, they call it, look at those crystals. Thought it was that's what no, I'm the saying. crystals are there are cool. I know, but like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, Once I did, it looks like you threw a little flower in a certain spots, that's I thought that mold. was cocoa puffs. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> hey, you want to buy some weed? Oh, yeah, oh, man. But yeah, that, that's that's, crazy. that's this. This just the way it works. But yeah, that's the that's how the pounds went up, man. It's, wow, man, so, that's that's nuts. Yeah, it's really sad, man. It's really sad. Damn, you can make. I mean, oh, you can make a lot of money. I got a company coming out next month. I won't talk about it yet, but I'll tell you tuned. after. It's gonna change how you buy weed. For the rest of your fucking life. Hey, you heard it first. I'm telling you, you're gonna go. That's not real. Oh, it's fucking. Oh, no, I believe real. it. I believe it. All. It is straight total recall year of fucking weed evolution and shit. It it's is like, here. Yo, the it's time is now. Yeah, in a year. That's how I feel. That's Hell how I yeah. feel. I'm stoked that's, though. That's, that's you know. Yeah. You're giving back to your fans, like you. You know, you're. you're right oh, there the best thing that. is the customers get wholesale prices. Dude, I need that little. Yes, I need that little DJ it. horn. <laughs> <laughs> this is official right now. You know what I'm saying? Something to sell. Yo, I bet you Marty has that button. Hey, I got it on my phone. I tag. Oh I, shit, really? Bro, I keep that thing on my lives. I just be going. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, but wait, like you doing lives on on Instagram, Instagram. YouTube, yeah, shit? Yeah, but then I be on my, my I have my computer. I just have it. Just do 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 do. Uh, what are you I, doing in your lives? Talk shit. <laughs> answer questions. Yeah, you sound like me, bro. Yeah. Just talk shit. Yeah, I try to like you know, just talk. Keep the DMs open for the ladies. Oh wait. But the dudes always blow up. <laughs> <dudes>. <laughs> uh, you know, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. That was so blatantly honest. I loved it. Yeah, you got well, it, you know, you those know? dudes just be flooding my shit. Flooding my shit. Yo, what's up, man? I got a fucking Polaroid camera. Can I? Hey, the funniest shit, though, is when they're like, hey, can you send this beat to like Bieber? I'm like, yeah, oh, sure. No problem. Absolutely. I hate right. people. Sent. Hate people so you know, much. It's, it's, it's he actually weird. says he wants to be your best friend yeah, and will no. you be on MTV with him? Hey, but hey, it's like, I, I, get, I, I mean, get you trying. I get it. I get it. There's better ways to do it. <laughs> yeah, you got to tell me twice. You yeah. Know but mean? then again, that's the new I pass on my mixtape. They said, yo, DM. Well, trash. I, yeah. But we all started somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we did. What kind of music you listen to? Um, Everything. Until I was like 18, it's only oldies and like doo wop. Like oldies, like what? Like Motown? Uh, yes, Motown, okay. Doo-Wop, uh, like Little Anthony kind of shit. Oh, that's like real. That's like fifties or forties. Yeah, fifties, sixties. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, fifties, sixties. Yeah, yeah. Um, classic rock only. Besides say, that, mm. yeah, it's like a lot of like Led Zeppelin and and Pink Floyd shit. That's like my mom. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I listen to. Into Eleanor Rigby and. Oh yeah, yeah, the Beatles. Yeah, good. Sh that's all that. That's stuff, all right? good shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, I yeah. love that shit. Your mom sounds badass. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was, <laughs> yeah, sounds tight as fuck. And she's Mexican. Like she's like that's real, like, shocking me. Right. She's, and the fact that she likes weed is just doesn't even make sense. I never knew that was like a thing. Like, with the, oh yeah, I'm gonna ask her about Fuck that. Fuck yeah, yep. She's gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm shunned. Oh, oh my god, you said <laughs> you said that on YouTube. <laughs> For real, like what if my family? Yeah, I tell you, it's nah, just I mean, like it's yeah. like that. It's like a, it's like a white dude telling you who he voted for. It's like, yo, you don't, you don't do that shit. They don't ask that <laughs> don't. shit. Don't even bring it up. <laughs> Marty doesn't count. Marty doesn't count. He doesn't care about politics. <laughs> but the guys that do give a fuck. Hey. Um, but yeah, no, no, just. Dude, and now it's everything, man. I listen to uh, all underground. I listen to some mainstream now. What do you prefer? Give me, give me, what's up? What's the last record you you played in the car? Come the on. last thing I was playing in the car was the Violent Femmes, but that's like, that's rock. Okay. Um, so before rock, so I've been, like rock. I just been listening to it. I love Kodak Black. So okay, much. there you go. I just love the ignorance that man just puts in his song. <laughs> like, yo, I can't even understand. Sometimes I love you. Yeah. I love how motherfucking real and authentic that fool it's, is. It's just, uh, it's, it's fun. just, I love it. But um, okay, I've been so just listening a lot of Griselda too lately. Oh, okay, a lot. Okay, because I never grew up on East Coast shit ever in my whole what? life. Mob Deep, Wu Tang. Okay, nothing? so wait. I talked about this earlier. Uh, my mom was a Tupac only person. Uh, Doesn't fuck. And she told me Big Smalls. Church. But Tupac's from the East Coast. I know that. Mom, hello. I know that. And she's on Big Small sucks. Big, <laughs> my whole life, that's all I heard. I didn't listen to Big ever, nothing until I was 21 years old. Wow. And when I played it, I got pissed and texted her ass. Yeah, mom. What the fuck you holding what about out Snoop, on me though? for? Snoop, Dre, number um, Yeah, I mean, that's I'm from California. Yeah. I mean, that's, on every, that's on my bus ride to school. Dude, like, I had to sneak the tape. I had to get the little tape. Oh, no. My mom's very open okay. with parent me. advisory. She's, mom, she wasn't very strict with that kind of shit. Yeah, she mom, let me watch mom, fucked up movies when I was a kid, yeah. all types of shit. But yeah, when it comes to music, man, I stick with the, right now, I like, do you fuck with, you ever heard of Xavier Wolf? Um, no. Xavier Wolf. Oh, have fun on the drive it. back. Yeah, I want to see, I want to see. Oh, I, I mean, I'm pretty tapped in, so. But, love this motherfucker, man. He is a, f oh, oh no. Who's he it's signed to? great. I don't know. But his shit. You ever hear those songs that makes you just want to get the fuck up? 
Oh yeah, there it is. So that's, that's I mean, I, it's not know. like all lyrics. Like I still, where you're like, I mean, I damn, can't do that. I can't not do Del, that. Del, 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 Deltron. He's not yeah, like Del, uh, Funky Homo Sapien. I just can't do like, that stuff no more. It's just, no, I mean not like. I mean, if it's just too poet, too like. Oh, I got you. I just, got you. I'm like, yo, I want to turn up. Give me some like. No, I, I totally understand. Some checkout music, you know what um, I'm saying? Uh, there's this uh, Mexican kid out of Houston or San Antonio. Uh, What's his name? His name's Emotional Zan. Emotional Zan? Emotional Zan. Wow, I've never heard of him. Oh, I love this kid so wow, much. Wow, I'm going to check him He's out. He's a straight punk, punk looking yeah. Yeah. Mexican yeah, yeah. screaming, Me- Mexico screamo shit. Wow. But he does rap now and he sounds wow. like fucking Gucci man 10 years ago. What? I fucking love this kid so much. Hell My homie yeah. Ratchet Man. Shout out to Ratchet Man. Put me on to him. Shout out to Ratchet you are gonna Why is he got Aaron Carter crying? I think they just fucking did. I don't know why Aaron Carter's crying. He's crying about old boy. Old boy distant. Why is he crying? I don't know. That's not emotional, Sam. Anyway, he got a... That's dope. I'm checking him out. You got all, oh, bro. You're going to really Hell fuck yeah. with it. Hell really yeah. fuck with it. And yeah. there's some parts where a, a random song comes on. It's just Spanish screaming and shit. That's I interesting. Fucking, I've never. I really like it, man. Wow. I re- he really embraced that Southern fucking rap vibe. Wow. It's great. And the look on his shit so, it contrasts so much that I go, wow. You have something here. Just hang on to it, bro. Can, can you go back to the first, to the, to the all page? I just want to see who he signed to. Like right there. He's go really down. fucking Z- awesome. Zodiac bro. Psycho Ward Records. It's really, the really Blackbird. fucking good. Sick Boy. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Any, any of those. It's like really good. Rebirth. No, no. I'm very, very interested. Like, I'm, I, I love that. Yeah, man. Let's like, it's, it's good shit. Hell yeah. yeah but, um, Emotional but, Zen. Has. Yeah, I just been. I, I, there's, a, there's a lot of like, um, well, for a video. You, you ever heard of a guy named Joji out of uh, 88 Rising? Joji. J O J I out of 88 Rising. You know, 88 Rising, like uh, Rich Brian yeah, yeah, and all course, those fools. Of course, of course. Joji is the one I feel is the is the artist out of that whole group, and it's not rap, it's nothing, it's straight R and B. I'm an R and B dude, so like, oh, he he, you remember uh uh Filthy Frank on YouTube? Nope. Filthy Frank, he was that fucking dude that used to prank everybody in an outfit. I never it's the same fucking pranks. guy. And he's, he used his 10 million like fucking subscribers and said, you know, I don't want to do pranks anymore. I'm gonna go straight into fucking music. And he just amazing. fucking he just hit top 100 on uh, top 10 on R and B records of the amazing. country. Amazing! I Yo, love that. I you're love really that. gonna dig this fucking dig videos, that. bro. That's what uh they're so, shot like fucking well, go yard commercials or something. Like oh, he, must, he must have a little budget then, you know. Oh, they're shot like uh like like he's on GQ. Huh? They're very. I might have seen them already, bro. When you when you hear it, you're gonna be a little like. Yo, where's this been? And then you see the videos, and yeah. they have their their substance. Dope. It's good. It's like I'm little excited. mini movies, man. Damn, where's like, he it's been? It's very, very fucking good. Hell yeah! I can't. I'll, I'm seriously gonna write this shit down for you no, because for sure. you like, gotta yeah. watch this fool's videos. They're so well done. Hell yeah! And you can tell it's just one dude in the camera following him, but they're not like he's talking to you. It's it's a movie going on. Dope. So you like the excited. camera's not there. I, I mean, I just love you know love when they cross you know different different boundaries. I found you know him like I mean? two years ago and just I haven't stopped. I fucking love this fool. Damn, you're breaking artists over here. Yeah, I love it. I love him. He's he's a breaking badass. Breaking artists over here. Um, I don't know how the fuck we got on that topic, but man, I just asked you what kind of music you like. That's all. I was oh yeah, curious. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I was curious. You know? Well, dude, I know we've been here for how long? Too long. Two twenty. Dude, you usually go an hour and ten, bro. Oh shit, I'm like this one up too. Hour and ten is what we usually do. So damn, thank you for sitting here this long. Look, hey, I, I can't go nowhere. I ain't got a, my tires flat. No, <laughs> <laughs> that does fucking. It's just, okay. You can just like you know what? Yeah, it's cool. Like maybe tomorrow, tow truck. tomorrow. Like I was just waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, it was a couch, bro. No, it's a couch. Uh, hey, I mean. It, Done it before, you know what I mean? Oh fuck yeah! Especially when you're on the come up, you sleep on couches. Hey, we're always on the come up though, because as soon as we reach one, where we go? Are you trying to look for the next thing? So we're always on the come 100%. up, hundred percent. And you're always willing to sacrifice a little bit more to get to mm-hmm. that next one. So, you know, yeah, that's a good way to put it too. You are always on the come up, no matter what, unless you're just comfortable. And once you're comfortable, expect nothing more from yourself. Absolutely. I mean, you're 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 useless at that point. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, thank you. You're useless. Like, what are you doing? What I mean, are you contributing? You're not even, even going to meet your own standards at that point mm-hmm. because it's just you're so comfortable. Yeah, I'm perfection. I know you. I know you are. Fuck. I don't even ask. Bad. It's it's to the point where it's like Bad. crippling almost it sometimes. Sucks. It really sucks. It sucks, man. It's it an does. extra five hours on shit just because I'm like, no, 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 no. no I've sent, they'll do that. I've sent stuff back. Me. Really? Like I've sent money back sometimes because I couldn't turn in a project. Oh, oh. So you're just like us, yeah. If I don't like, yeah. and I'm like. Bro, I'd rather not take your fucking money. Yeah. Because what you need I don't from even me is show not going to happen. I don't even show them. I, do you shot it? And I've shot, maybe edited five different versions. I never even. Oh. And the versions were fire. I watched them like a month later. I'm like, dude, this shit was so dope. But in the moment, 
Like, no, it, it it matters how you feel. And you've watched it so many times, the shit oh, just it doesn't. Gets, it it gets so stale. You're like, yo, this shit was fire. And then that's why four I was, times ago I tell people like, yo, bring somebody over before like when you're when you're freaking out, bring somebody over, send the shit out to somebody because they're Another gonna pair of eyes. Yeah, I send it to my dad, and my dad always tells me like, oh, that's cool or that sucks because he has no no like knowledge of anything. There's yeah. no where the lights coming in. There's no the edits. Mm -hmm. He just tells me if he likes it or not. And then and that's who you're trying to appeal to the person that has no exactly. knowledge in what your field is. Don't ask your fucking friend who's you know yeah, who's like, the, he does color. Yeah. He does sound. Like, or he's the you know he's sitting in front, front front of the class at the film school like hey well, well I don't really like you know yeah. your like, thirds are off. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, I, but that's what we do, and then, then it's just it's even more of a. I do it all the time, but yeah, dude, perfection is on yourself. It's uh, it's it's a blessing. What and is it's that? the worst. It's it's you know what you can do. Oh, that's what it is. You and know what you can you do. The more you learn, the more you learn. Like the more you want to expand and try. Yeah, and the more I know I can do. Like before, I knew I could do sky replacements and 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 you sky know, replacement and, and steady and, and you know more. What does that mean? Like I can I can make a sky with clouds or rain or I can do anything I want. Oh, in the edit. Yeah, I'm saying as soon as, <laughs> <laughs> as, soon as I knew I could like. Poof, Humber. Change the weather. I was like, no, I, I heard what? you guys. I heard you guys talking about changing the weather. And, and, like, but as soon as you, as soon as you know you can do these things, it, it always feels like I'm not doing enough. You know. And yeah, so that's that's what it is. And then you try shit, and then it's like mm -hmm. hours and days go by. I mean, I've I've been editing since I was seven, eight, and like a little guy. So I sit there for 22 hours straight. Oh yeah, I, my longest was 20. Longest I ever did on one video. The video was 12 minutes long. Dude, wait. As long as you've ever edited on a video? Straight without stopping. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, no, I've had something take 50 fucking hours and oh, shit. Oh, dude, that's... Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about without stopping. I'm like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I've done I'm like good, two days. I can't do it, man. Especially no. when I, I type with two fingers. I'm, uh, I'm computer illiterate. Oh, uh, see, so I edit I, with my fingers. Yeah, I just do that. Oh, but, really? Yeah, because once you learn to short, short you know, because I, I try not to click. I broke my hand in, I broke my hand playing football my senior year. Bro, and then I got my, I, I wanted to play so bad because we were undefeated, all this stuff. I, I took my shit out early, took my pins out, my screws out. I signed the waiver. I got casted every game. And I'm thinking as an 18-year-old kid, what am I going to use my hand? I don't need this. And then <laughs> every single fucking day. So, so I try not to click. Like so I try not to click. So I try to I try to do more with the keyboard. Wow. Yeah. Yo, that's beastly. That's a lot. That's a lot. It sucks. Of course. But uh, this is so much easier. It Damn, well, you're a champ. You're for busting through that shit with a broken hand like that. I mean, I mean, at this point, I don't even, you know, I mean, it hurts. Like I literally took my shit out and like it just yeah. didn't even heal. But dedication, everybody. That's not. You to better go break your fucking hand if you no, want to. No, that was, you know, I, I wanted to play football. Like it was my senior year. I had been playing since I was seven. I was like, I, there's mm. no way I'm not gonna. Yeah, play. there's no way you're not. And that's no. the last one. That's it, bro. That's it. I could have went to college though. Yeah, and been like, yo, 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 four string. Dude, I already got this. Bro, there's no, no way. There's no way. Man. Done. No matter how good you think you are, motherfucker. I mean, how many, how many Mexicans are there out there? Like, even every time I see a Mexican in, in, in NFL, I get so excited. There's like two. There's two. Yeah, uh, yeah. The guy that plays for the, uh, he's an offensive lineman. Lineman, yeah, yeah. And there's uh, a, there was a Kiko Alonso, which was mine, but I think he's from Spain. I don't think he was Mexican, but still. I mean, count it. Brown. Like, yo, that brown kid did it. You know? Yo, any brown kid over six foot, I'm like, dude, yo, dude, you're who, going places. Yeah, I was going to say, who are you? Like, yeah. dude, what? Do you're you know? Your mom cheated on your dad. Something <laughs> happened in there, dude. Because, like, that, they don't, I'm the tallest in my family. Get the fuck out of here. I swear. I'm the bro. shortest in my whole family. Really? For Mexican people, everyone's kind of tall in my family. Wow. My mom's side. You have some white My two here. aunts. Yeah, no, well, on the Mexican side, all my, uh, Oh, you know what? My grandma, she's born and raised in Mexico, but she's for German and Portuguese. Mm. But she's she's a Mexican lady. But she's, she's not than Mexican. You? No, no, no. I'm saying uh, all her brothers are 6'5", 6'6", because they're half German, half Portuguese. So they got the huge tall jeans, blue eyes. And um, so my dad and all his uncle. Well, my cousin Adrian, he's kind of tall for a Mexican yeah, guy. Yeah, you are. Yeah, he yeah is. he's yeah. kind of tall. He's a baller though, right? It's all the shoes and stuff. Oh, yeah. He's fucking, he's on, he's on that. Playing that like, center? <laughs> That's full play basketball. Uh, playing the four, the four. Oh, I thought you were a baller. No, he's talking about a baller because his shoes are tight. It's <laughs> like, yeah, he buys, he buys crazy shoes. Yeah, you, got that, you, got, you got them J's on. No, um, I mean, if you're that tall, as a, you know, you better be doing something. Dunking. Yeah, no, I have a cousin that's six, six, <laughs> or six, seven. Dang. And he's just about to be seventeen. He's a fucking monster, but he doesn't like sports. Oh, man. But I love That's sports, cool, and they're like, "Yo, you're a little too short to play quarterback." Oh, fuck! And but I was so fucking good at football bro. that it's just give him the you rock. know you you know that feeling hey, of like rock, bro. if I was tall, 
baller. Hey, I played quarterback in, in, in when I was in eighth grade, man. That was the best year of my life. So fun. Bro, I was throwing rockets. Yeah, you're like the Doug Flutie syndrome. No, like, I grew, If I can only jump. I see. I was actually the tallest of all my friends. I went through puberty when I was in like set. Bro, if, well, and then they all went and passed I'd have, you I'd have up. up. Everybody, oh, dude. No. Everybody. Punking everybody for a year. So nah, bitch. nah, I didn't even. Play. I know. I'm just but saying. I had like, a mustache. I was. I was like Rico Suave. I'm so glad YouTube wasn't a, a, like YouTube wasn't a thing, bro. I would have been. I would have been all up in like. like so you would have had four illegitimate kids. Is what you're saying? <laughs> I don't plus, know, man. Plus. I would have a lot of embarrassing videos up there because I actually have them still. So I'm like, I sometimes I'll watch them with my dad, or I'll send him a picture of something. And I'll be like, this this would have been on YouTube yet. Oh, on YouTube. I get what you say. Yeah, I like, would embarrass the whole family. You bro, know, I would embarrass you, you and everybody. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was, you know, it's bad, you know. So yeah, at least nah. you got it, man. That's cool. Nah, it is cool. It is cool. <laughs> you know, one year though, you know, they should have let you throw the rock. Dude, I was good too. My mom taught me how to throw football. Really? Yeah, I'm super fucking amazing. Actually, at throw football. Wow, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. That, How's like, your mom? My mom just. My dad. My dad wasn't around. He was always. Doing other bullshit. Yeah, and my mom I heard just that a little bit. Yeah, my mom just. But your dad was around. He was a cool dude, right? My dad's fucking tight, but he was just on drugs. Yeah, my grandma was a heroin addict. Oh shit! Yeah. Did, you, wait, your grandma was a heroin. Addict? I always yeah. say like you never see an old heroin addict. No, nah, she didn't. She didn't make it. That long. I know, but she made it to be a grandma. I mean, dude, we're back. I mean, she, she was, was thirty like one. <laughs> She's a great grandma at 40. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She was like, exactly, bro. I'm so glad you couldn't relate to it. <laughs> it's Yo, like, come but, on. But still, all right. She lasted two generations doing heroin. That's yeah. amazing. And her mom was around. Yeah, I know, right? It's that that like, shit just takes people the fuck all my, out. All my extended family uh, on, on both sides were, you know, addicted. You know, oh addiction. really? Have have addictions, yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, I mean, it's just in the bloodline. You know what I mean? Then you get trauma and just you know poverty and things like that. Just it is what it's. My my dad kind of made us, you know, stay in. You know, just kind of keep us, you know, somewhat sheltered. You know what I mean? And just kind of mm -hmm. keep us focused on well, good shit though. Sports and he yeah, knew what the I, fuck was going on with the family. Of course, of course. You know That's what, what I mean? the fuck I'm gonna be doing. Yeah. So it, it wasn't like we weren't with our family. We just I didn't know half the shit was going on until I got older. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it should be. Absolutely. But my grandma, crazy stories, my grandma, um, she got clean when I was born because my dad told her that she couldn't see me no more because she, mm -hmm. she was babysitting me and, and fucking passing out. And so Ugh. when I was little, and so my dad was like, cut that shit out or you're never going to see it. She's locked herself in the bathroom and got clean. Damn, it took five days of fucking the worst pain ever. Ever. Oof. It's, I know some people have gone through that. I can't imagine, you know, and on her, like on your own, you know. Ugh. Jesus. Just a little bit of weight on my shoulders. Like, your grandma did this for Before you. Before you, you better succeed. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever said that, but yeah, you know what I mean? Could you imagine on your freaking eighth birthday? You better fucking kill it. <laughs> All that shit, that shit throw up. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, like, oh, man. My grandma was like, you know, she was just like hilarious. She just say whatever, like. Oh, so, you, so she stuck around till you were older. Oh, yeah, yeah. My grandma passed away till I was like in, in. Uh, college. Oh, after gra wow. I graduated college. Did she actually. ever hold it over your head? Like, I could be high. Hell But no. I chose you. <laughs> Hell no. My grandma was always into like, bro, she'd be chasing the cops. To she wanted to go figure out what was going on over there. And so she'd pull up to the house and fire. So she, because she wanted to get going. Because like, you know, drugs no more. Like, she just, anything She's that would just. adrenaline rush. Absolutely, She's bro. over here chasing with a fucking scanner. Ab dude, absolutely, <laughs> For bro. real? Absolutely. Wow, that's kind of tight. Throwing us in the dumpster to go, hey, get that chair right there. I can I can redo that. Oh, she was that lady. Yeah, but like, you know, stay up all night. We'd watch uh, Cops and America's Most Wanted and Unsolved Mysteries. That's what I did Mysteries. every fucking Saturday. Bro. Every John Walsh here. <laughs> dude. Yeah, I watched all that shit crazy right i yep. hated the unsolved mysteries guy though i hated it hello no we didn't f no there's no ending i didn't like his voice though i say like really yeah i don't know I was he was just so like i don't even plain. know yeah that, i remember him with the trench coat oh you know why because i saw i saw a kid who got burned all over his face and i was little 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 and i was traumatized with his voice and then like whatever it is i saw and i just got you yeah but my grandma would just be like shut up get over here <laughs> <laughs> you're watching this fucking oh yeah this family she'd pain be, she'd be smoking a cigarette but like half in half out the door but half in the door like <sighs> oh your grandma was tight yeah she's like she at she, least tried she would smoke cigarettes and say uh I gotta, I gotta, I gotta smoke because uh, John Walsh is stretching me out. And so she would smoke every every break, commercial break. It was oh hilarious. shit! And I realized, like, as I got older, I'm like, dude, no one's making you sm smoke now. Like, you, you know, it's just an excuse. And it's it hilarious. Excuse, man. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> but she'd be like stressed out, like America's Most Wanted is stressing me out. Yo, Family Guy. Or, I mean, uh, Mad TV or Saturday Night Live. 
Because right after that was Mad TV and Saturday Night Live. I, dude, we, we watched TGIF, though. So I'm, oh. I'm a few years older. I'm 35. So, like, you know, I had, like, Family Matters and, like, all that. No, same year. Yeah. I watched all that shit. But after. Oh, yeah, Mad TV. Mad, Mad TV, TV would come on right yeah, after no, America's Mad, Most Wanted. We watched Mad TV. We didn't. I don't think I really watched. Uh, SNL? Yeah, not too much. Yeah, because 10 to 11 Mad TV. Yeah. Uh, 10, 30 to 12 Dang, yeah, was SNL. He has, like, a little lemon head. I remember, yeah. like, I haven't seen that show in... I love that shit. Yeah, I haven't seen that. It like, was tight, though. Yeah, I haven't even seen the branding in, like, 10 years. Oh, no, they, years. they shut it down. But remember, like, Will Sasso, Bobby Lee's yeah, on no, there. Yeah, no, I remember... It just... <sighs> when he said it, I, I was like, no. But then I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember the, I remember Bits everything. Yeah, and absolutely. Shit, yeah. yeah, just because it was, like, clockwork. You know what I mean? It was crazy. The, I mean, we, at least we got a good exposure to, like, how to run programming. <laughs> because every yeah. Friday night it was like boom, 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 yeah, boom. Yeah, kept you there. And whatever you had is to eat with top ramen, mm -hmm. popcorn. Uh, my, my grandma would buy candy canes and smash them and be like, "All right, here." And just so that she, you know, we could eat them all night instead of giving us one. I yeah, a little bit of this. Yeah, but, but she, would, she would make it like it was cool. So we thought it was cool. Like, yeah, yeah, of course you thought it was tight. Yeah, we're like, fuck yeah. I'm like nobody else has candy canes like this. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone share. Everyone share. Pass. Grab one and pass. Grab one and pass. Fuck it. That's but, tight. But programming, you know what I mean? I learned pretty quickly, you know? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, no, I totally understand. There, It can be no downtime. Yeah. It can't be. Yeah, no, I, that's not But I mean, that's way like branding now. and like everything. That's what the YouTube, like that's what it really does well is like, you know, people who are on the same time, like who, who Yeah, who schedules, schedules. Uh, you know that you're not going to miss out. Can you imagine sitting down and like family, TGIF wasn't there? I've, I've said this before. I said the reason I'm trying to get these videos out on time, the same time, it's because I remember what it was like when I sit down on Sunday and Simpsons are about to come on. There what you would you feel like if it didn't come on? Yeah. Your day's done. You're I mean, pissed. You might not even trust them no it's more. It's the same as the bell and the dog getting the food. Yeah. You know I mean? It's, it's the same thing. It, it truly is. Yeah, you're just you know, conditioning. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we, but, you know, we really saw it. I mean, as you get older, people began to pick what they wanted to watch because there was like a bunch of amazing things to watch. Yeah, I uh, fucked around when there was TV guides still. My grandpa worked at the spot that oh, made TV dude. guides. What about the, the, the that was, the that was before Channel the- 99. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed it. Fuck. Damn. Two more minutes and dude. I'll fucking be back. Yeah, That's I remember crazy. that shit. Like, I mean, I, I don't know who can, you know, if you, if you don't know what that is, look it up. That was the worst channel. I'd get there and go- but you had, on. but I know, but you had to. You had to. But no, my grandpa worked at, at he made TV guides, so oh, there was dope. snacks Hell yeah. everywhere. I never got those things. Yeah, my grandpa, that was a one like little thing my grandpa did that I was like, yo, this is sick. I know what's going on before everybody else does. Dang. I thought it was Ty. I was getting all the collector's ones. He thought they were worth money. They weren't worth shit. <laughs> he made it. Why would it be worth money? Like yeah, you made dope. it in Merced. Where, where was he getting the, the, the information from? They make they make the TV guys at his work. Oh, so, so he, he was just take the, them, take the new okay. ones. Well, he said he was making them, so I thought he was like, no, no, no. They, he made them at yeah, his yeah, work color it, press. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So he would like oh, just take bro. the new ones, like, oh, this new collection. Oh, he was that guy, bro. He was that guy. Damn. My grandpa was badass. That's fire. Same dude. with the fucking. I mean, he told you the tapes. Yeah. He tape every fucking night. Oh game. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was always at work, so he would come home. He goes, no, I got this, 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 this. I got to work in five hours. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. That's dope, dude. It was cool, man. It was a. It was a. You're a Niners fan, or you don't like Packers fan? Well, Brett Favre. I have a love hate, but yes. I mean, who was there when you became a fan? It's Brett Favre. He just dissed me one time when I was a kid, so I just oh. hold it over his head for the rest of my life. And I want to. My goal in life is to get rich and famous enough to where I go. Brett Favre, hey, come remember? to my birthday party. Remember that fucking time you dissed me in San Francisco? Wait, Not how, for real. I but saying, how much did he diss you? Because this is a lot of a lot of. I was eleven, and I have Brett Favre. Everything you could possibly think of. Uh -huh. I'm a Brett Favre fanatic. I love Brett. I wrote a fucking. I got assigned. Love, I got. I got assigned. Uh, pick a state in fourth grade, and I picked Wisconsin. All my facts were about Packers. <laughs> got an F. I had no credible fucking Favre. information. Favre. Yeah. So anyway, I went we in three fucking this. hours in the rain at the San Francisco fucking Packer game. My grandpa's like, "I'm not waiting because he just he's like, right he's the, a, he's a when the players fan. come out. He's a Niner fan. He's like, I'm not waiting out here for Brett Favre. And he went and sat in the truck three fucking hours. Me, two old ladies, and they were singing a song they made up about him with with signs. No way. I had the whole outfit on, and this motherfucker's only 10 feet away, and he purposely didn't look at us from the fucking locker room all the way to the bus. We're standing by the bus, like, waiting. I met Bubba Frank, Donald Driver. They were cool as fuck. Oh, yeah, I remember those years. And I'm looking at him like, yo, oh, my God, bro. And I'm like, what, did, far, did they lose? Far. Fucking won. Oh. That's when my grandpa was pissed. He wanted to go wait in the car because oh, the Niners lost. Favre. It was Jeff Garcia era. Farv. Yeah. And he literally did this one. The ladies next to me were white. So it's not like it was a race thing. He's just a dick. Yeah, not a, you know. Yeah, he straight up just dissed us all. And the old ladies literally 
with their signs. Damn. Out. What year was that though? Because I know he was, was taking pills this, and stuff like that. He was on the pills. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, that was the the pill the the year of the pill. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I remember that. So, like, you know, yeah. what I mean, Farb, we we don't hold you uh, I all the way accountable. But, I you know completely about do. I completely about do. But I understand if you're fucked up. We, I don't. I don't understand. But you definitely but need to call also, on the show and, and get on If here. you can win a football game in the NFL on pills, you can take a left and go, thanks, guys. Hey, <laughs> you said it. You heard it. It's true, though. I agree. It's true. But that's, that's all. That's all. So, no, I grew up a... Uh, hey, Brett Favre, please send us a uh, Ford jersey. Yep. I have mine still. No, I send you one signed. Sorry Ooh, for that day. I got I got your rookie card, motherfucker. Damn. I got your Atlanta card. I got your fucking... I got everything. Wait, you have your cards from like back in the day? I have an extensive collection of cards. Like newer ones? Because I know it came back I stopped around. in like... When I was about 14, I stopped oh, buying them. Too, yeah. But I got a... I can buy a house off of them. I have a crazy... But they, but they weren't worth anything for like a period of time. They are worth a lot. I got... The, I know, but like 10 oh, years... Oh, no, like, no, I had the Beckett book. I no, wrote, I have the Beckett's, but I'm yeah, saying Yeah, I wrote like, them all down. I knew my, I know I knew my cards were worth a lot. I, but like as they... But like as they've gotten more expensive. I, now they are, because now it's cool again. But I'm saying there was a time where they... Wasn't, oh, where they weren't shit. Yeah, that's well, what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, the value went down a lot. Dude, a lot. A lot, but I have like... Ones that I used to buy. I'm that kid. They were all with common the plastic cards, cases. Bro. Like, bro, so am I. With uh, the everything. drill gun. Yeah, yeah. This is, this you're just like bro, me. Absolutely. Bro, I, got, I got the full. I got everything. I, I got, got full all sets. My I got full shit. sets. Yep. I got everything. bins that I have to care for the rest of my fucking life. Yeah. I'll sell them right now. Anybody got four hundred pants? Hey, it's, it's like, like yeah, it's like, it's like one of those uh, you know those those mag- mystery boxes that they send to you. Just buy it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just tap somebody. In. No, somebody's gonna fucking make us get a a killing. I got some shit in there that Damn. even comic book stores like what? Oh, you got like, comics yeah. in there too? No, I'm saying even those the comic book store. That's why I used to buy all my cards in the comic oh, yeah, book me store. Too, but like, yeah, I'm see, saying even they'll be like, "Yo, you want to sell that shit?" I'm like, nope. I know it'll be worth. It. Oh. I, know it'll be worth it. I uh, I remember was the last one I'll talk about. The, I remember looking at the cards and going, "Patriots just picked this guy up. I'm gonna put his rookie card in the case." Wait, did you see that? It just, it just Tom Brady rookie card just sold for like 400 bands. Yeah, right. It was something crazy. I have I the other one. It's still worth 27. But I remember saying like he's gonna be good. They just picked him up, and I put him in the seal. This I white scroll is gonna be yep. amazing. I was drunk as shit with my friends two years ago, and I go, "No, I got football cards." I looked at it, go, "Tom Brady." I haven't looked at these in ten years, and I have his fucking original no amazing. beard Tom Brady card. But I got like four Jerry Rice. Yeah, I got rookies. I got, I got like all a those bunch two, of Steve yeah, Young. I got the, Barry Sanders. I got all these, everybody. Joe everything. Montana. Everything. Yeah, I got and Steve just, Young's in the Buccaneers. Me too. The Buccaneers outfit, right? Yeah, the tops. It was the tops one with like the this. green. With the green on the outside. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what card. I got two of those. I got a remake and then the original. Oh, that was the, no, that was, there was two, there was the tops and then there was the, what was the one with the white with the little like banner? It had like a little banner on the top where they said their name. I don't remember what it was. <sighs> but they were like rookie cards. They were all kind of rookie cards. I know cards. exactly what card you're talking about. Yeah. He has no helmet on. He's got yeah. kind of a yeah, mullet. Yeah, yeah, with the curly hair. Yeah, absolutely. No, exactly what card you're Yeah, yeah, about. it's crazy. Man. Yeah, it's crazy really? that it's coming right back. It's coming back. I around. didn't know until somebody told me. Me either. I saw I looked, Ski has a show. I was like, what the fuck? Cards are they're back. I looked up some of the prices on my shit. I know, bro. I'm like, Yo, it's like, what Rolls Yo, Royce? Okay, okay. Get? but <laughs> hey, but you better sell them before they get because I'll sell them all right now. I, I'm, I'm fucking, just saying because I'm done carrying stuff around my life. I just don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I can't. Of a hoarder. Like, I don't know Same. what that is. I, I got to get it away from away. me, bro. I keep toys in the little toy shelf that I love like, my whole life, and that's my clutter. Yeah, organized. But my shit's organized. I just can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm it's, just. I just. I can't. I can't. But, but have I'm just shit saying, no like, more. I could see that 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 just phasing out real quick after. The, oh like, yeah. Once people just, and how crazy is it? They went, they shot up when nobody had no money, dude. I mean, just like, it, yeah. I I just was like, wait, what cards? Who's but who's got money? Like, oh, the same people that had money now, like, oh, you guys are poor right now. They now buy up all your collectibles. Cards? Yeah, but like, I was just, I, I don't know. It tripped me out. Like, I still haven't bought in. I haven't even checked my old cards. I was at, I was at my dad's this you weekend. Check, bro. You're gonna be shot. Oh no, my dad's like, yo, you know, yeah, we're banging up there. Because he, he bought a bunch of these old, old cards, uh, really, really good condition from a yard set that were all baseball. Like, I mean, I'm talking like, I don't even know. Yes, so many baseball cards. I, I, mean, I don't know baseball. Either do I. But yeah. they're, they're from like, I mean, they're little cards. They're like this big. I mean, they're from like the 50. Like when they, yeah, it's, they're old, 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 old. Really? Yeah, we're banging up there. Not like, Sick. not like you, like not, no Tom Brady's, but like. You might, you might. Yeah. I'm telling you, because Tom Brady was not a very like. Nah, like I stopped pick. around that time because I was like ninety. I stopped in two thousand two, two thousand three. Yeah, see, I was I stopped way before that because he got picked up in two thousand or two thousand one. Yeah, no, nah, I was like back when the Drew Bledsoe days. Remember that? Though? I had Drew Bledsoe's cards. He was always I could always tell yeah. he was a good player because even if I didn't Shine watch, too, even if I didn't cards. watch, I could just see how much it was on worth. The stats four ninety five. Oh, the Beckett book, man. Yeah. I, I have. My I never read notebooks. the stats. Though. O
from uh, oh, from Mark yeah, yeah, Grand yeah. Slams. Do I have, uh, yeah, yeah, fucking Danny's over here playing me. Think I have some good shit. I collected some of those. I collected some fucking uh, yeah, uh, NASCAR ones. Yeah, yeah. Remember the, uh, the, Bo Jackson. the golds? I have a Bo Jackson rookie card. And you, do you have it? It's still in the in the. Well, no, the, the hologram one inside the, the inside the little like. Remember they they would give you like a little like. I don't know. It came in a case. Like, I, that's like, what like I was a talking little, about. Like piece of wrapper, like a little wrapper though. Oh, the, like, the thicker plastic ones. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about, and they stick over. Yeah, you had to like rip it to get yeah. to even see the card or whatever. Yeah. 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 See, you know, you know about all this shit because that's yeah, that's some yeah. shit you only know if you fuck with cards. Oh no, we were. I mean, that's the, you know what I mean. I'd be reorganizing them and everything. all my shit's my team. Oh yeah, yeah, player and team, and then in an order of importance. Yeah, right. I, in I'm order of money. Kidding. No, of course. You know, four fifty cards. I, I had a card. Bam, 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 I had a card bam. sale when I was like, I don't know, like eleven. No one ever. No one came, but we put, <laughs> I put all. The, I stayed up all night and, and priced out all the cards. I put them all on the table, and, and you hell thought you're gonna bank. I oh, always bro. thought that too. Like you're gonna. I was make buying a house. I was, I was like, like, I was like, I'm six buying a house. Or ten, or I don't know. I was little. I'm buying a house off this shit. Yeah, no one That's ever. That's the came. only thing I kept throughout my whole life, and my fucking Michael Keaton Batman toy. That's yeah, it. That's cool. Yeah. Other than that, but yeah, fuck yeah, card talk. What's up, nerds? I know, I know, dude. I was like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. And it's like, it's like a cool thing, you know. Like Ski has it on his. He's actually, oh, Pokemon's we're, back, man. Oh, that's I didn't even Pokemon know. cards. I know, I know. That's I had a set of Winnie the Pooh cards from Disney. That sounds sicker than fucking Pokemon cards, dude. I don't. I've never seen it before since you know only set that I have. So probably some shit. Remember X Men? The yes. X Men pack, dude. Yes, I have some else. Oh. Oh, I've I have seen. an open right here downtown. You know the uh, Dude, like the mission, are... the Mexican part here downtown where yeah, it's all yeah, yeah. old school. Yeah, this man down there sold me a pack. Each pack was two dollars, and I bought as many as he had. He's got sick ass old nineties toys. Some with the bubble gum still in the shit. He just. I mean, because, dude, it was care. worth nothing. Back then. But even, even like, if it's not worth nothing, I just love it. I know, right? But I'm saying, like, even like five years ago, even like two years ago. Worth nothing. Bro. Past eight months, shit just exploded. It's crazy. Anybody out there that wants to buy some motherfucking cards? Hit us up. One eight hundred cards are us for real, but don't because then someone's gonna get upset. He's got bangers, dude. Um, I would love to sell them, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. get to that. We should do a show and you show all your cards. Oh my god, we get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I so, want that Tom Brady. Someone's gonna rob my ass. Hey, you ready shit. to go? Let's get that strat. Let's go. How yeah, sad it is that that's a real thing. No, not for cards. A hundred percent. People steal shoes. That's shoes drops. But that but shoes shoes are status. Cards no, are but really those status. people aren't wearing the shoes. They're selling them. Oh, that's true. The cards, they, they're not card fanatics. They go, how much are these worth? Look them up on the internet. Same thing with the looting happened. Like, yo, it's just steal shit. Don't sell this shit. Someone's going to buy bro, it. Boxes, bro. <laughs> that shit was the hey, most. Go, hey, go in that one. That go in that amazing. one. I'm not going to say who. I know somebody that was uh, taking advantage of that and just going store to store, yeah. pharmacy to pharmacy. I mean. Yeah. Whoo, get it if you're going to do it. But I mean, damn. If you're going to do it, then I mean, whatever, but. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I advocate mean, that. I don't advocate that, and I just, you know, I I have empathy. Once I once I developed empathy because I was a psychopath for a long time, but once I developed empathy, like I'm like, damn, what about the owners though? Like, that could of be course. my homie. And then I'm like, damn. Yeah, but what if they're hella broke, barely making, and they couldn't afford insurance this month? And they couldn't. No, most of them didn't have insurance. It's crazy, bro. So that's it's crazy I, to think about. So I think about both sides. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you have to. But you have to, man. But you not think about both sides with the. <laughs> not those people. I can't steal. But they also feel too bad. Uh, yeah. I saw my mom's, uh, like my mom's, not wedding ring, but a ring her mom gave her to give away to my to my girlfriend. That's different, bro. Fifth grade, bro. You were a little boy. Yeah, that, that's kind of awesome, that was, bro. It was like the, you know, it was like it was like. Did you get it back? Never. Oh, what Didn't a jerk ass it. little girl. I, she's just whatever. I was a scrub. I was a scrub. Yeah, As was you a scrub. said it, but in high school, yeah, I smashed her. <laughs> <laughs> He laughed slightly, looked to the left. I don't know if that was. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know which. I don't know which side of my tail is, but you know, <laughs> some ladies know out there. Shout out to you guys because it would be like, oh, he looked to his left. Yeah, whatever that is, whatever that means, they know. I don't know. I just thought you were like, <laughs> well, maybe I did. Yeah, I mean, I felt bad though, man. I crushed. That's the only thing I've ever looted. The only thing I ever looted. <laughs> <laughs> I went because she gave me one and I, and I lost it, and I was like, fuck, I need another one. And I, she wasn't in the shower or something, so I just <sighs> banged on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fifth grade stealing rings. Stole my mom's shit. Gave it to a girl it's that didn't up, deserve that shit. Fuck, never, man. Yo, I was a simp real quick. I had, a, I had a red pill right then and there. Oh fuck! I was like, all right, things will never be the same. <laughs> Yo, dude. Um, fuck, dude. I can't believe how long it's been. Yeah, that twenty-seven hours marathon. Yo, I think we're the longest bit. stream ever. It's right. been a long time, dude. 
Um, I know we talked about a lot. Yeah, we did. <laughs> a Sorry. fucking lot. No, it's fun. I love it, man. I love that it's so relatable because you've said the same shit that I've been saying my whole life. Like, I, sort I don't of, speak you know, Spanish sort either, motherfucker. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I heard half of that shit. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. Yep. We talk. But cool. We're fine. Yep. Yeah, dude, because it, 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 like I said, it always matters. Like, this is a podcast. Cool. I also want to enjoy a fucking conversation with somebody right. and not go... So what do you do for a living? Hey. This guy's a fucking dickhead. Hey. Like I don't ever want to do that Dude, shit. Yeah, no, you can't. I mean, you. Won't. I can't. And plus, me, I hope, like get the fuck out. Yeah, it's of not here. in your nature. Yeah, it's not. Nature. Like Definitely I gotta like make sure first because yeah. I don't want to be. That's rude why we to just anybody. don't talk in LA because there ain't not nothing to say. Yeah, not many to talk to. Like, yeah. Even, all right. I that's that's same with me. And you're from out, but I moved down here five years ago. I have oh, a couple yeah. friends. Five years. I have a couple. Yeah. Other than that, culture shock I'm was good. it culture shock though? Fuck no, I moved downtown because I was like, no, nah, I want to get into business because if I like it and I can handle it, I'll stay. Uh, I was fine. That's cool. Because we're set small as fuck. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I had to handle it. Fuck yeah, I'm fine, dude. Everybody's a truck driver in my family. I know how to drive. <laughs> I'm I'm good, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so everybody, thank you for chilling with us through fucking 76 topics. I appreciate the rant. I love that you <laughs> rant too, because I do and I always feel bad. Um Thank you so much. Where can everybody you. find you on social? Just Matt Alonzo, everything. Matt Alonzo. Everything. Matt Alonzo, you know, everything. Matt Alonzo. I was looking at it. Dude, there's a lot of work on there. Yeah, yeah. You've I've been updated in about five years. You've but it's a cool. lot on there. Okay, so I looked at it. I go, five billion? I could have swore I just said 10 billion. Nah, I think, yeah, I haven't, <laughs> yeah, that's I why I looked at yeah, it. But you've doubled up, that, right? I haven't touched that thing forever. Yeah, it's crazy because like just one video that I did a couple years ago, like already surpassed. Through, yeah, yeah, it's the roof. Shit. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome, man. That's to be the kid that your your dad was just filming, not liking it, to now you're, yeah. not nah, mom and dad, come on the set. I want to show you these cranes and the oh, shit yeah, we're getting like, done. Dude, they were flipping out. Get like, the fuck out of here. That my, that my dad, just real quick before we end it, there's a funny story. My dad came to the first video shoot and uh, one of the PAs decided to make himself the oil boy. There was no such thing as an oil boy, but he all the girls got lined and he just... <laughs> my dad's like, what is that? I'm like, I, I don't know. He's like, you made it up? Yeah, and my dad was just, I'm like, dad, you can't be... It was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, because like you know, you, what, you never, I've never seen that shit either. You know what I mean? And, and then they all sat on the leaning against the wall in a mansion that we, we got for free through a hookup. Happened to be like some gold leaf paint that they had just brought in from Italy or some shit. It all came off. They destroyed it with their asses. With their asses. Yep. <laughs> Yo, that's like some fucking soul glow that's coming crazy. to America, shit. dude. Yeah, all over your body, and you're just like, hey, where do we hang out at? You know? Oh, video yeah. show, girl. Damn. You know, shout out to the videos. Shout out to the video show, girls. Yeah, Matt Alonzo, everything, bro. Matt Alonzo, everything. Ladies, hit me in the DM. You already know what it is. <laughs> YouTube, too? Do you do that, too? Yeah, on, yeah, on, yeah. Uh, Matt Alonzo. Not everything. for them to hit you up. <laughs> I'm going to say. Matt Alonzo on YouTube? Me. Yeah, yeah. everything's Matt Alonzo. You can find me in the comments, whatever you need to do. All right, I'm going to put you in this. Uh, link will be in the description for everything. Yep, Matt Yo, Alonzo, Twitter, everything. Thank you for the conversation, man. Nah, thank you. Thank man. you for that. Honestly, man, I'm telling you, there's going to be kids out there that watch this shit that resonate. It's gonna, like, it's yeah. really going to hit. because. Like I said, I'm already doing this shit, and I'm like, that's good shit. So thank you for dropping the knowledge. Thank you for taking the time to come out here. I know you got a flat fucking tire that sucks. Hey. We'll get it fixed. Yeah, but, we'll that shit out. You know what I mean? We'll get it done. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it very thank much. Thank you so much. Um, all right, I'm going to close it out. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. This has been another episode of the Dope As Usual podcast. Thank you so much for hanging out for Through the Rants. All right, guys, if you're driving, <laughs> please be careful. Please drive safe. If you're at home, smoke the fuck up. I'll see you guys next week. Have a dope ass day. Whoop. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. I can't believe we did another 250. Yeah, we just ran that thing, huh? Perfect.